It is a run, and you're doing it again. Just because you're not wrong does not mean you are right. I have plenty of black holes. Trouble is, times. Because I can dig across the desert with my shotguns, but once I get to... <sighs> Saying that, right? Do I have enough black holes to tunnel snake to each new holy mountain? If I go parallel now, you know what I mean? I'm tiny. A bit more chunky, I think. Because I can always pick up the refreshers. You're that guy who sends six WhatsApp messages in the of one? Uh, what is WhatsApp, you know? <laughs> you want it? I've destroyed my house. But we've cleared out here. This is mine now. Oh. that one <laughs> don't spam the chat even if there's you know not that many people talking it sets a bad precedent and uh yeah i'm receiving the whole 1.5 seconds latency that i thought pre-recorded ouch you might just want you might just want to say what you wanted to say in one message you know just saying i take responsibility for that People are responsible for themselves there, Stick, you know. Don't let them get away with it. Make a tunnel, and that's what we're going to be doing. Tunnel snakes rule. That was not a ban. Why would it be a ban? It's one second time out to delete the messages. <laughs> Why would it be a ban? I'm not that much of a cunt. Looking dong-shaped hole. That would have taken such brain power to read. Yeah. It would have done. I have Matter Eater, which... Problem. I don't have anything to take out. Been banned for less. Well, every streamer is individual. They have their own limitations. I, for one, if I, I'm not... Right. I didn't mind yesterday putting up with a little bit of shit. But today... No, I have to concentrate today. Yesterday, it's not that I'm on autopilot to start runs, but I'm more familiar with starting the runs and getting them started than I am while I'm in the run, you know? Starting a run is, you know, not routine, but uh, if I throw, there's less consequence. There is now consequence. We're a full stream into a run, so... <laughs> Today is no bullshit day from chat, right? None of that shit. I'm just... Again, I'm thinking on things. We're still within the 45 minutes of talking time that I like. And I don't know what to do. How many... Right, let's count it out. I could refresh that, so that's... Right, it'll take that much at least to get through the rock. It's these timers, though. No cat pie stream. Got it. <laughs> Would have had to spell. Yeah, it's almost as bad as math, isn't it? Well, yeah, some streamers just set up their bots. So if you spam in chat, they will ban you immediately. You know? Again, I like to accept all types of different people. You know me. I like to give people, you know, a good chance. A really good chance. One, to learn how things are done here. That we do like a variety of people, but, you know, I'm not to be taken advantage of. And Griffin proved that the other day. And he had an unbanned request, which I thoroughly denied, because fuck that. I don't want a precedent set. He can just come in and be all depressing and shit. Dark. Needlessly dark, you know, for no reason. Fuck off. I mean, if one per... <laughs> the problem is, if one person does it, new people that come in, 
think that's acceptable to constantly do, and I don't want a chat full of just depressing shit. So I accept it for a little while, but you went too far. Mocking and mocking and saying he doesn't like my runs. Fuck that guy. Gone. Forever. After creating a sun, do I need to position it in the middle of the moon? No, if you want to complete the sun quest, you need it in the middle of the moon. Spam and eggs isn't bad if you cook it right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that is good. Um, that's a good analogy. If you cook it on the floor, then you're doing it wrong. But if you do it properly and follow all the steps, hey, you can get away with it. <laughs> Spelling is so much worse than math. In math? Yeah, you... Well, saying that, in math, you've got kind of... You know, I say you've got unlimited numbers, but you kind of only have, like, 10. No, you have, like... No, you do. Cause, no, yeah. No, you have 10, because 0 to 9. And then everything else is just a copy. But you got 10 numbers when you've got letters, 26. And then you've got punctuation. You know, individual, you know, unique character, let's say. What are you doing? Destroying all the terrain? Just thinking, mate. This is a thinking man's run, hence why no one else does it. I mean, people put thinking into one building, but that's not me. We go about thinking in a different way here. So I'm thinking about what to do, what to go, how to go, when to go. Because the trouble at the moment is I could go find a spell to kill Alchemist really easy. <sighs> that would be one of them. But it's not a guaranteed one shot and he will fire at me. What happened there is joint? We just started, mate. Uh, yesterday's room went pretty well. We've gone all the way down. We have not gone down past the vault, though. And we're going parallax. Uh, Fury, how you doing, man? God damn. You are all in for a treat, my friends. Mainly because you've already had a nice little treat with Fury, right? Enjoying some good Fury Forge content. Welcome, one and all. For anyone who's already here, again, a legend within the Nighter community, Fury Forged himself, not only plays Nighter, but, you know, other great games as well. I have known the man to play Terraria and many other indie games, roguelike games, over here on Twitch and on YouTube. Make sure you click that heart at the very top of chat right now. Support a fellow Nighterer and just, you know, great dude all around. How you doing, Fury? The sun. They say it can't be done. Well, some people do, but... People should know better by now. Uh, Vladimir, how you doing, man? Welcome to all. Hope you had a wonderful time. Here is what are you up to, man? I didn't actually see you streaming. I, I, I've been busy. <laughs> I actually had a casual look at who was streaming and... Slip by me, slip through my fingers, mate. I hope you had a wonderful time, though. Yeah, I've been very good. I've been very good. Whether it's a cauldron or, you know... Doing some no-hit runs. We found ourselves very busy this month. In some good ways. Ah, oh, keep spin pinball mod. And then just... Ah, oh, shit, he's made that. Yeah, I, I heard talk about that pinball mod. Must. Yes, I must do. Might be some good YouTube. That's right, actually. Thanks for bringing it up. Bringing my attention to it. Just killing yourself repeatedly doing all bosses. That will happen. The bosses are bad people. So anyone joining us... If you're not aware of who or what I am, I'm LST. Also known as Suffer around these parts. We do things. Here in roguelike games. Things you might not even believe. There are no, currently five different unique no-hit runs I've achieved. And this is number six. The sun run. One mission. Well, win the game after creating a sun at the moon. There's a lot of pitfalls along the way. We're very experienced in no hit runs, though. Again, one of our best examples being the 33 orbital boss no hit run. That took 37 hours. This one probably takes a lot less. However, the sun is not to be trifled with. It's a dangerous beast. We, however, have our Ambrosia ready. We have a fire potion still. <laughs> Worm blood. Good shooty shooty bang bang wand. Black holes, all seeing eyes. 
teleport. So we can... Right. We've got a bit of a catch-22 situation. This is a fresh save file. Because I didn't want the sun in the sky already. So at the moon, it's just a moon. There's no sun there. However, I haven't killed any of the bosses in this save file. So I don't have a random chance of finding Greek spells for unlimited black holes. So I need to kill Alchemist. I need to kill Forgotten anyway. For the sun seed to build a sun. Yeah, parallel world are intended. But once again, anyone who's joined us, thank you for supporting our friend Fury. You know, I hope you saw what you're looking for at uh, the good entertainment. I assume so. But I hope we can carry on the party with some uh, good, tense action. I get four hours. In the top left-hand corner, you'll see the time, the amount we've been hit. I should actually turn off those coordinates, but uh, they're irrelevant. I'm not using them. There's some guard perks. For a run like this. Best of luck. They are glass cannons straight away. The always cast we picked up was on a wand that we dropped. It was a orb timer. Per, you know, blue orb. Good for digging, getting money. Got me black coal, got me repulsion. I should, yeah, I should actually review my perks because I didn't, haven't yet. Yeah, the perk lottery as well is going to help me build quicker because I don't want to do needless building here in this run. I want to get to it when I can. I'm going to need practice, right? Even though I could do this run one shot if I give it enough thought beforehand. I mean, building a sun, if you've ever done it in Neuer, I doubt there is a person out there who has not taken damage. You know, because you don't need to. You can just take the damage. If you're building a sun, you've got the HP to spare. I doubt there's very few people who built a sun, like, close to none, and didn't take damage. Because you don't need to give it thought. No one does this shit. So, for the f potentially first time ever. At least intentionally, anyway. We shall build a sun without taking any damage. And considering the sun has a massive damage radius, even outside of the regular sun bit, you know? The boss fight music is, uh... called for. I remember the... Uh... Is that I dreamt about your yeah, no-hit run last night? Very nice. I had a dream where I had a teleport one. There was other elements of the dream, but I can't fully remember it. I rem fundamentally remember the teleport one, though. And me teleporting with it, it was pretty cool. <laughs> it wasn't a dream, it was just a different timeline, you know. But I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all, you know, sat down comfortably, refreshed and beveraged up. Ready. Because... I think, saying that, right, once we get into a no-hit run, usually, like, after a certain amount of time, they are normally successful. After we get, like, 50% to 70% into a no-hit run, the chance of success is really high. Historically, on all my no-hit runs. There have been exceptions. However, I have been shot going parallel worlds before. I know this because I remember it vividly. Out of the darkness, a he -C came with a wand, spark bolt, fireball orbit, and I hadn't found fire immunity yet, or explosion immunity. One of them. Shot me, and orb connected. Ruined probably 10 plus hour run. Which isn't what you want. was a bad one. However, this run is going to be different. All of the difficult things come near the end. Being close to a sun building it, I've got to judge distance very well. Because again, the aura of the burning sun and the damage it can do, it doesn't tell you where it's going to hurt you. So I've got to assume I either get platforms and Ambrosia up or just stay a hell of a long distance away and throw the essences at a mighty distance. I only need to pick up two of the essence essences. Water and earth. I do not need um, the others because I can pick firestone and electric stone off the floor. However, water, essence of water, 
spews out lava. And lava shot. Which can hurt me. Essence of Earth, if I'm stood on terrain, can hurt me. And I've got to get from hell with the essence of water all the way up to the surface with a lava shot being shot persistently. Oh dear. So, I am not experienced at all in this. I, to be fair, I wasn't experienced. Like, in the 33 all, all boss no hit run, I wasn't experienced killing all. Well, I was actually, because I did a run before with all bosses. I wasn't experienced doing both. Um, yeah, I said that. I kind of was experienced. Thinking back. I did both runs separately. I did an all boss and a 33 up separately. And then combined the two. Um, that's where I get the number five from for the unique runs. By being cheeky and separating them. Like all boss. All boss. 33 orb. All boss 33 orb. Nightmare. What was the other one? No perks. Five. <laughs> My five unique. No hit runs. I mean, someone could come along and say they've done a no perk. No hit. But I'd need the evidences. Music portal? Ah. Huh. Anyway, cheers guys. Stay hydrated. We'll get into some action. I need to figure out what I'm doing though. His power grew so strong that it absorbed my dreams. <laughs> again. Hey, Keith, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Again, we have Black Hole. We can go parallels. As long as I, when approaching Holy Mountains, pick up the refresh every time, because we don't go through the actual biomes in parallels. We go around tunnel snaking. If you've been here before for no hits, you know this. It is a way of life. However, that amount of Black Holes should do but it might not, and I don't want to get stuck with my cock in my hand. Oh, I, I heard, Keith. I, I want to play it tonight for my YouTube video. And released. Yeah, Fury uh, dropped the raid. Mentioned it, and I was, I've was i been hearing, hearing it on the grapevine. You have to give it a good gander, man. Appreciate you letting me know also, you know, just making sure. Don't want to miss something like that. Uh, the thing is, I have immense power. Glass cannon. Damage plus. Damage field with a double shotgun shot. Which it's definitely going to do because of my trips and dubs. Teleport ones to get away from... Ah, there's a real problem, right? I don't historically teleport across the top of the world because of shadow bosses. I dig underwood, which we can do. we got shotguns. We can blast our way through. But I'm just thinking, how many black holes are we going to need to tunnel snake an entire... And we got Scott as well. Because I could go and build an alchemy killer now. Sort out the black hole straight away. Or I go parallel worlds. Beef up. Find tentacle personal. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Alright, it's all good, my dude. Thank you for telling me. It's appreciated, man. Again, content for tonight, baby, you know? I love my casual nighter runs, but when, you know, something like that comes... I was going to do Lemmings, but... Uh, I tried it, and I just... Uh, I just don't know if I could have made... Like, I don't know, something about it, like... It, I would have had to work at it, <laughs> you know? Um, It's an odd one, that. Like, I, I, I did it for a little while, like, playing it on my own, and I was like... I can feel where the content could come from. Like, an entertainment from it. But... It's because you start with just your regular ones and stuff like that, and you've got to keep them alive with your, you know, Lemmings abilities. Um, I think it's... The problem with the content for a YouTube video with the Lemmings um, mod was... I would have needed to have learned how to Lemmings before I made a video. Which meant, do it on stream. But... My streams schedules filled up with cauldron and no hit runs. You know, my bread and butter at the moment. 
Um, even though I do love doing some, you know, alternative stuff. Ah, timing. But I'll definitely have time for ping pong. Uh, pinball, sorry. <laughs> ping pong, pinball. Have you killed gate boss? No, and we won't be doing. There's no point. Nah, I've got repulsion, Smoogie. So that'll, that'll have, you know, black holes go as fast as they need to be. Um, difficult choice, because I've already kind of cleared as much as I can of the main world, and I didn't find Tentacle. There are other ways of taking him down, but I can't use explosives. I need an LDC if I want to use explosives. Shoot through the EDR. Yeah, I got LDC from him last run. Could be worth it if you get lucky. Uh... It's more likely to fuck me up. I haven't gone down to art. I haven't got through the vault yet. I'm doing an old nightmare strat of not actually completing the main world, going parallels early to get the easier perks to power up cheaply without putting myself in too much risk. How I completed my first nightmare. Go to the first free power. Go to the first free um, holy mountains. Go parallels. Get the first three holy mountains. Go parallel. Go with the first three holy mountains. But this... Whoa, tree. Renegade tree! The essence of Earth. Gosh. Oh, the essence of Earth. Under glass cannon. Ooh, shit. Did not consider that. Thank you for bringing that up. Actually, do essence... Do essences get glass cannon? I'm wondering if the hit, the personal hit radius is going to hurt me. Like, five times hit radius. Ooh. Hold on. Isn't it an explosive force? If I... No, I'm sure it's a... Like, do I just not need to be touching ground, though? Like, if I'm kind of floating above ground, even if I'm within the radius, it normally happens when you're touching ground, not actually even floating a little bit above it. That's what I was thinking. Explosive immunity protect from Earth Essence, since it is an explosive property. Um, either Berserk or Glass Cannon? Can't 100% remember. I'll have to have some look into that. Thank you for bringing it up, though, because that is obviously going to be very dubious. Um. Yeah, I'll kill these dudes now. They might come in later as a problem. Over here. Kill as many of them as we can, anyway. Without getting squelched. Is that liquid right there? Water? Yeah, it is water. I might want freezing field in this run. Historically, I never take freezing field. Pretty much for anything. Hit, no hit related. Uh, Larion. Thank you very much. Hope that's how you pronounce it. Welcome and thank you very much for the follow. Wait, the, yeah, those guys spawn if you try and climb the tree. There's no way around it. If you go under the tree... Come back around, they'll spawn at the bottom instead. They're really cheeky. So if you just get to the top of the tree, you're fucked. I think that'll do for now. I think most of them will be down at the ground. I do have repulsion. What I need, above anything, is invis. Invis is no hit king perk. You probably understand why. Melee immunity is what we've got. And it's one of those that's also hugely important because of tunnel snaking. Worm could come a long way or in a tunnel. Ruin your life. Love your YouTube vids and your beautifully heavy metal god to her. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Glad you can join us. The adventure begins in earnest because yesterday was just getting a run started. Today is the run. And we'll pray to the statue of Bam and his heroic feats. You know... When it comes to heroic feats, this started it all, you know? And we continue a legacy of batshit insane stuff in Bam's name. And when he's out there doing 
hopefully some cool shit. Living a life. I need... Oh, sh no, that... We're right. We've done an all-boss no-hit run before. we just got to be careful with that eyeball. Because you can throw it, and it can instantly hurt you just because you throw it. So you need to have Ambrosia on you when you, you know, bring it out. At all. It's ridiculous. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Nah, it's open. We've got to be careful across the surface as well. Get shot at. The real problem is if the biome below here is opened up to the public. So again, a bit of a tentative start. Because I'm not worked in for the day, you know? I'm not settled in at all. This is the best time for the game to get me. Like 100%. We don't have enemy radar at the moment as well, so when we get to parallels, those in almost invisible ghosts could get me. It's happened before. I will not let it happen again. They are a little bit obvious since they've got a blue a hint of blue. You never equip the eye and drop it from inventory. It doesn't have plasma ray. Does it actually um, show up the boss, the forgotten though? If you do that, if you haven't activated it, oh, it still has the revealing effect. Very nice. Thank you for letting me know that. On mouse and keyboard. Again, it's just best for me to Ambrosia. The beam can't remove my Ambrosia, so it doesn't matter if it lands on me. You know, <laughs> if I drop it like at my feet, as long as I'm Ambrosia and. Again, luckily, I do have experience taken out Forgotten. The new ground we are breaking here is the building from start to finish of the sun. We've killed Alchemist. We've killed Forgotten before. That's not breaking new ground. Although, it is something we still have to do. Tunnel Snakes rule. Um, I need to reveal that, but we can do that later. And, you know, these are going to be majorly important. We need to get here. Do a thing. Didn't try the boss specifically, but it revealed platforms. Ah, it should do then, shouldn't it? Toxic Commune and Gas Fire. Yeah. Gas Fire is essential. Mainly because propane bubbles can come up into your tunnels. You know, Tunnel Snake's rule. But Tunnel Snaking is dangerous. Melee immunity and Gas Fire for tunnels. Tox... The worst is acid up warp into your tunnel, which has happened before. Luckily, we are... It's taken me out one time when I was at Heasy Base, and it was just a really fucky bit of acid. Uh, most of the other times, though, you kind of somewhat see it coming because of either explosions or scuffle below, you know? Because if you pay attention, you notice stuff is going on below you. You just back away. With the all-seeing eye, you hopefully can see what level of scuff is going on. Take appropriate action. Make a hole bigger if necessary. The bigger the hole, the more you can just hover above the actual ground. Because a really small tunnel is really detrimental to your health and safety. Because you, if it does up warp, you have very little room to actually get away from anything. But yeah, gas fire, invis, toxic immunity, explosion immunity, electric immunity, all good things. Yeah, we're doing a tunnel here because obviously there can be people across the top. Not that they're too problematic, but I want to see them and then take them out. Hey, not... what's that sound? What the fuck? Fire at me? Hmm. Oh, thank you, Otto. No. I'm not. Felt like he fired at me. Look 
is going on there? No hit runs can be rebranded as ninja runs. Attack from the shadow. Hello. I think it's majority bloopers, but there can be riflemen here. I want to know what's going on there. Snow and wood. Yeah, you see, you see it written down. It's trying to say snow and wood at the same time. Swood. We got swood. Swood. <laughs> it's cauldron secret. The dancing flag. What does that mean? I think it's. Maybe it's in a perpetual state of shifting <laughs> between snow and wood. Swood. Bubbling, you know. I've got to make sure we're clear here. Yeah, we are. You're fuck kicking it. I'm not going anywhere near it. But this, uh... Good investment to shift acid and lava in the runs like this? Maybe, Smoogie, maybe. However, since we're, I'm not allowed to look up the seed, personal challenge, you know, I don't look up seeds to, it's cheating. I don't know what a shift would do, and if I'm already like four hours into a run, I'm not wasting that investment with shifting. But you could do, it would be a thing to do. I just don't, I've never shifted for no hit runs, and I don't plan to. I don't see it as an actual good investment. In terms of how I like to play. I like the danger, you know. It keeps the... If you just remove all danger... You're removing some of the challenge. Although it's a smart thing to do... It's like removing Polly from the game. I've never been a fan of it. Hey, leave the small. What the fuck is that, though? Is it like, you know, Missing Missingo? Missing no. Pokemon had Missing No. We have it's wood. It's no wood. Yeah, Polly's fine. Polly is actually, you know. Oh. Well he's dead now. It just disappeared the flag. Anyway, no distractions. We move on. The bridge being up is huge, actually, because no one can come. Not a fan of something like that, though. A hole open for people to come up, maybe? sometimes be someone around here. Pretty sure. Water to Polly, extra hard mode. You've got to remember, it'll turn a lot of the enemies into sheep as well, which is productive. If you're doing a no-hit run, turning blood to Polly would actually be, uh, you know, shoot someone once, they turn into a sheep. They're not shooting at you anymore, are they? Lake. Oh, that's off a nice little, uh, you know, Observation post for the lake. We can edit here if we had a tablet. We don't know.
Oh, ducks in there. And sheep. And more deer and more sheep. Fluffy little bastards. Ah. Yeah, isn't a circle with a line through it with a dot in the middle representative of the sun in alchemy? Because again, with the whole Mutus Liber connection for this, this could be praising the sun. He's doing a classic T pose. Pokeball for sure. Because I've had a few talks with people and some people don't see it. But, uh. You know, because the Wicker Man reference runs strong. Might be a bit of both. Ah, two elk. Classic. Good job we don't have electric on our wands. Goddamn moss. Ruins everything. So we've got six more shots. And then we're on the timers. Because the timer will just utilize all of, you know, one stack. Looks more like a horizontal no look. Ah, maybe. That's a good call. Or at least not a bad call. There we are. It begins. Yeah, I don't need to be too lenient. Yeah, that's enough. I hate doing this. Never gets comfortable. You want to be below sea level coming in here as well. Below sea level, the... You know... Am I stuck in the wall? Below sea level, the... Parallel monsters, bosses can't spawn. You see a clip where someone under Ambrosia still died a curse rock? What? I have not. You can find it. Drop it. What the fuck? How? Are you sure it didn't get removed? Uh, I generally want to shoot down because of what's the worst that could happen and get into sand. We have a uh, repulsion, but we don't have invers. Hmm. No all seeing eye. No enemy radar. If the game wants to take me out. That over the horizontal line could be Latin over. Could be, but again, the lack of Latin use anywhere else in the game. When it comes to languages, alchemy and you know, other stuff is more likely. Gotta watch out for, especially around, oh. I probably risk it and teleport over the pyramid. Because I don't have enough black holes to get over the pyramid. I don't have shorter black holes as well. And there could be a ghost in that. Could ruin everything. I think we mod restart here. Let's give it a sec to settle in. Settle in this new land. But I don't have the fastest teleport. That's the main problem. I could Ambrosia teleport over. I've got fire immunity. So if I get shot at an explosive. And the explosive sets me on fire. It's not like I get burnt. As long as I have explos uh, uh, Ambrosia. When say a rocket or projectile hits me. We're fine. And teleporting with Ambrosia is going to 
you know, save me a lot. Anyway, and if I'm going into new places, the likelihood of finding an Ambrosia, quite high. Or at least on a long enough timeline. Damage getting polymorphed while having poly in it. If we can find that one, then. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it is. I mean, I do have light on the MI1. That is a big plus. But we're working with a few negatives also. In case anyone lingers down that. Could be a sentry and stuff like that, so. I could shoot my way through, you know, horizontally through the pyramid, but I suppose it depends if I get bombarded. If I'm at the, l the right hand side of the pyramid, if someone shoots at me, it's a bit more of an easier decision. Just don't fuck with it, you know? Hey, Tham, how you doing, man? It's seeming clear for... Problem is, if we're not getting shot at now, I think it increases the likelihood we get shot at the pyramid. I'd rather get shot earlier. That was an explosion, but that could have been underneath. Let's get Doggo out of the way. I've not been bombarded yet. What the? Oh, it's blood. Going underground, I've got Heesey who could shoot me. Um. Uh, through the pyramid, I've got wall hangings, ghosts. Going over is only shadow bosses, who generally take a little while to shoot you anyway. Unless, you know, say one's above me right now, it would shoot me already, you know. Doesn't matter about distance. It matters about... It doesn't even matter about line of sight. Polly, I'm here, bud. Let's have a gander. Right? I wonder if it's the same. You know when you can die with world teleport one? Oh, yeah, you drowned. Of course. <laughs> right. God damn, that's some nice ass nails. What the fuck? Got tits on my screen. Uh, no wonder that's a popular clip. Um, girl in bikini showing off her nails. Yes. But yeah, Priscip got pollied in water. Watch the clip. But I wonder if it's the same, right, as a death via world teleport wand, that for very split seconds, you are, like, the game is, you know, transferring data to a new set of RAM shit or something, you know? And it just, you know, you, um, for a very fraction of a second, lose all abilities you have. For some reason. You know, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to go for a quick one minute break. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll get on over this pyramid. This is mission critical. I mean, if I can get through the pyramid or over it, we get our... Well, saying that, we need to fight Scott for perks. So, we shall see. But thank you for being here. I'll be right back, my friends. One minute. See you soon.
Oh. Alright, first problem of the day. Pyramid. This. We're not getting bombarded, so we should be good on the right hand. The, yeah, the right hand side. But when we get over to the left hand side, it's open season. It's a duck shoot. Turkey shoot, that's the one. We only used 2% Ambrosia to get through that parallel. We could go to 50 parallel worlds if we get that up. You can't keep it up. If you get 15 stainless armor, you still get the hit, right? Yes. You need 200 stainless to not take hits. You might not take damage, but you might still take 0 .0 0 0 0 0.0.0.1, you know? <laughs> and technically, that would be damage. It has to be zero to not take the hit. It's like getting hit by a swapper, you know? What the fuck? Ah... Me, I need zero distractions. My wire was being a pain in the ass. So yeah, you need 200 stainless. And we're not going that route, Thamp. So we have to just... Again, I wouldn't want to either. This is a challenge, you know. It would be a challenge to get 200 stainless. But that's not the challenge I want. I don't want to grind. I want an intelligent, strategic victory. Fuel... By caffeine and vape liquid. Good. Job done. Oh, that was nervous. Again, even with Ambrosia on. The problem is, someone, even if you've got Ambrosia on, say someone rocketed you and set you on fire, which can still happen. Remove your Ambrosia, right? It's like Moss can still set you on fire. Ambrosia, oh, thank you very much. You know, a sustained attack can still get you hurt. percent gone? That doesn't make sense. Do I have any fire? No moss. The moss wouldn't matter if it's not on fire. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, what? Liquid up warp move staying? There isn't any sign of any liquid up warp law. What there is... Once he starts getting hurt because the Ambrosia goes away, his natural blood from the hit starts pouring on the floor. That's what you're seeing. So it doesn't make any sense. You would have seen the upwarp beforehand. 
So what's the risk of taking damage? Uh, I'm in parallel worlds. There are shadow bosses that lurk the skies and can fire at you. Rockets can set you on fire, which removes your ambrosia. Then they can do projectile shots, which can hurt you. Or hit you. Both types of shadow boss can be... There's also a ghost that can come out of uh, like a very subtle and partially invisible ghost that can come out and say hello. Of course, if you've got Ambrosia on, the ghost can't remove Ambrosia. Well, unless you get a letality level bullshit there. Just turned up to show on the sea that. Look here, it wasn't your game. Yeah. Well, it's one of those that if bullshit like that does happen, you know, nearly... The good thing is all my deaths in no-hit runs or hits have been because of my mistakes. And it's all been a learning process. You can't learn to overcome something like bullshit. So, I wonder if he was using any... I wonder if there was any mods on... Because Latali, you know, one, has a lot of mods installed, I assume. Has used a lot of mods. I wonder if there's any lingering bullshit from that. Um, it's not exactly... A, again, with Priskips using a lot of mods as well and modding the game quite a lot. I wonder if there's any lingering bullshit. Like the more, like I've always thought, the more mods you have installed, even though they are not loaded into the game, they're still there, kind of just in the background, you know, ready to go. And I'm wondering if that can cause the game to kind of hiccup slightly. It's why I kind of removed quite a lot of the mods um, when I changed my machine. I wonder if it's a PC thing as well, you know. Like I said, maybe it's turning around on the RAM, like just kind of. Flashing it over to somewhere else very quickly and just forgets to give you your immunities. Um, yeah, darkness is problematic. There could be someone. It's not a sentry down there. And if there's no one coming from up there, we're fine. Just need a trench immediately. Could teleport over to that new hold. Now we're fine. Ah, I don't know about the left, though. Although, they would have seen me by now, and I suppose can go up this way. The problem with the shadow boss as well, because they do quite a few rockets in a row, they could bust through that. Although, I would see the first rocket make moves to avoid secondaries. And third waves of rocketry. Especially, if you can dig at the pace you walk... You're generally safe from sustained barrages. Because, yeah, they you're just covering yourself with fresh terrain as you walk, so. I can kill Scott, although it will be an interesting fight, depending how we fight them. We do have enough black holes to get to him in the... Uh, Holy Mountain. And have a strategic advantage. Ugh. This is going to make me want a black hole, but I can't waste them. Uh, there's been many uh, experiments with void liquids and cauldrons. and I'm on a little bit of a hiatus on cauldron stuff to let it ruminate in my mind. Let it all, you know, think. But yeah, for the, for, the mi for the minute I'm finished. Again, of course, you'll uh, always hear about any results that have positiveness before you have to ask. Ah, oh, fuck you, mushroom. Luckily, there's no lava lake over here. We never come back this direction as well. If you're committing to going west world, you're going to go west, west world, west, west, west world. You're never covering, you know, the ground you've already come back through. Apart from if you go down biomes in parallels, then you've got to get back up. Unless you go jump through a portal back to the main. So you never really need to fully clear behind you. As long as you're not followed in the short term, you're fine. That's why we zigzag a little. Good trench work involves zigzagging. Just to keep 
any enemy on screen. If it's in a big straight line, they can sneak up on you. But if you zigzag a little bit, it's a lot easier to see them without them shooting you. Oh, yeah, the void liquid and weird fungus and purifying powder. Yeah, that's some good science, though. Void liquid cannot be purified. Good information. How far are we along? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's get stuck in a wall. I'm just constantly sticking myself in a wall. Whoa. Bit too much gusto, that. Um, problem. I need to get above Scott. I can't go in from the side. I was saying that, I could do. It's better for me shooting at Scott that I'm above him. It's easier for me to run away as well. But the way he shoots, he can't shoot down a small black hole hole. So... As long as we black hole to him, we can fight him. I just want my shotguns to have gravity on their side. We do have 14 all-seeing eyes as well, which is huge. Getting that moss out of the way, what the fuck? Oh, money. It means we're closer than we think. That's a lot of area to cover. Probably sticking to it, since it's an exact chunk translation. And hit testing probably skips a uh, pixel there, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. Blood. It's berserk. The problem is shotgun is falling down, you know what I mean? Squelchy motherfuckers. Quite a high distance to cover as well. There's a lot of room there for the Accidents. I might just black hole down here. Um, let me just retreat a little bit. So I got one, and then I'll have up to four shots for a long black hole. Jump ball up. I really wanted to go in from above though, but this is safer. I could always go in from below actually, but then I don't have- he has gravity on his side. I don't- Whoa! Yeah, more blood down here is good. Any lava up warp? Lava doesn't tend to up warp as much as acid. Bubbles. Do you play any game off stream at all? Not anymore. <laughs> um, if I'm streaming or playing, well, if I'm playing video games, I might as well stream it. Yeah. The reason I'm running away from that black hole, one, to check if I'm being followed, but also, yeah, it didn't use all of them. Nice. Because I want to. Uh, when I get close to the shop, I want to shoot upward so I can retake the high ground without puncturing through to the shop. I also want very good escape routes. Yeah, I do videos for YouTube, but that is, you know, still recorded. Oh, this is going to be our second challenge of the day. I want Peace with Gods immediately. I don't care about Invers. Peace with Gods. Both would do. Invers. Again, the fact I'm so close to the bio means a shotgunner who would be the worst. Like, me defending against shotguns in a small hole is really difficult. No. You've got no maneuverability room. Eh, uh, try it and see, God. Welcome and thanks, man. I, play, I, I played Cookie Clicker. <laughs> but that's about it. Oh, Valipa no. as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, merch. 20% off, guys. Till Wednesday. 
Oh, I got oh, it. Spread out really annoyingly. Now we're all right. The problem is if it gets set on fire, it produces gas. Actually, if I'm shooting at that level, we're fine. The shop is below the eyes. Although I'm probably going to puncture through a new eye. Um, I'm not going to puncture. If I puncture into the shop, we'll spawn Steve and he'll be free, you know? He can directly see me. It's normal nightmare purgatory, all bosses. Um, we did all bosses and 33 orbs separately, and then we did them combined. So it's nightmare purgatory, all bosses, 33 orbs, and all bosses, 33 orbs. And this one. I haven't done purgatory yet, Alex. So it's a bit cheeky in a way to count. Them. What the fuck? Could set that on fire. That would produce bubbles. That's what's leave it and hover over. Ah, that's fine. It's actually kind of what I wanted, because we're s somewhat close to the shop. They could get an angle on me, though. Ah, has it gone all the way through? If it hasn't, we're in actually a good situation. Yes, that's really cool. Oh, it's closed off as well. Nice. Ah, no one take that wand, please. Oh, thank you, Trent. Appreciate it. But yeah, this is contained. No one's coming through this hole. We have good escape from Scott. Now I've got a choice. I shoot straight. I could shoot slightly down. Avoid hitting back into the biome. Piercing shot stacks. You're probably able to stack the reduced damage. But there's no point because piercing shot is binary, right? It's on or off. You can pierce or you can't, right? What's the point in stacking it? Apart from you reduce damage. It's one of the reasons why a lot of 33 or piercing ones fail. Because people use Greek spells that multiply the piercing, which reduces your damage even more. So you need to be really careful when using Greek spells with a piercing one. You want to make sure the piercing doesn't multiply. Mm, it's good enough. It's on a downward slope, so it's very unlike like a very slight downward slope, so it's unlikely to have gone into the shop. There's toxic down there though, so I need to encourage the water downward. There's no swapper here or anything like that, so. I could actually pour the worm blood down. That would force you know, as it rolled across the other liquid, force it down. Wouldn't you get that from slowing the projectile down? No, if you want it last longer, you use an increased lifetime. I'm not sure what you mean there, Ransom. That's good. There was a uh, blockage. Well, good up top. Hey, Em, how you doing? Worm blood, indeed. Seeing the dark liquid is chunky. Like, uh, you know, orange with some pulp. There are two black holes left. And I need to get in the shop with these black holes. If I don't, I'm particularly screwed. It's hard as fuck. Yeah, streaming does that. Just being on the internet a lot definitely does that. I'm very well. I'm, uh... Getting into this run, you know, five hours in. Not been hit once. Almost five hours. Problems, however, mount. As we go into parallel worlds, trying to power up with limited resources. It's a little bit sketchy. Doing well. 
We're moving on. Hopefully in significant ways. I don't want to get shot in the face. Hey, Raj. Didn't expect to see here the Knight or OST here. What? Yeah, Knight of Player rejects all Knight of OST. That'll be the day. But I do not have versatility in my black holes yet. Also, there's dangerous liquids around here. It's just sketchy all around. I do have repulsion, so projectiles will slowly move away from me. That's only slowly. A shotgun could get through that. Hmm. Well, it's the hole we made right here. We need to walk through it. I could throw some fire potion down and have the fire roll down. Just destroy some liquids, but it wouldn't destroy toxic. I need water for that. And I've nearly run out. I don't see any. All I can do is try and encourage some other liquids. Maneuver down. And there's other toxic over there that could slowly fall down as well. I mean... I could turn that to water. Can't if I go in that portal, I get sent back to the main world and we're back to square one. I don't I'm near the shop. Like it's just over there, probably at the next portal. I need the high ground against Scott, who's guarding the holy mountain now. It's where the perks are. Current goal, power up. We're in Parallel World 1. Although we have a bit of a beefy guard defending it. Who I am powerful enough to kill. It's just that it's a bit of a boss fight. Considering my power level and his power level are pretty matched. And I can't get hit. He has the luxury of being able to get hit a few times. And I don't... The problem is if I shoot over there, it might encourage the toxic over there to fall down. But it seems to be okay. Uh, I saw a bit of toxic fall. Yeah. Again, I could up warp into there. Turn it all to water. What's that green doing on the ground though? Brickwork. Yeah, I know it's brickwork. Toxic though. I think it's just moss, isn't it? It won't tell me. It just says brickwork. Maybe it's just stained brickwork. But you can maneuver liquids a little bit. I could just, you know, chill. <laughs> you know. I'm pretty safe. No one's jumping down to ambush me. We're pretty safe up there. Ah, uh, uh, we're that. As soon as you see frogs, you're directly above the shop. Maybe another tunnel parallel to this one, a bit below? Maybe. I just wanted to see the frogs, because that indicates we're, you know, right near the shop. Um, I could blow this explosive up, send some fire down there. Frogs equals the devil. You're not wrong. I don't want to shoot that toxic barrel, though, by accident. One, kick it away. There is a shotgunner dude hanging around there, but, but we're that those frogs indicate that a change of biome. So having two black holes, it's either this portal or the next one where the shop is. And I want to shoot directly where Scott spawns. So I want to shoot him straight away as soon as he spawns. And he can't shoot me for a black hole hole. Easily. He'd have to get an angle on the go. But I want to shoot where the perks are. Which I think I'm directly over.
Yeah, but if you're done for the day, Emma, have you considered taking a nap? Naps are the best. May I, you know, propagandize unto you the benefits of a wholesome nap? Sleeping rocks. You know, if capitalism found a way to make you pay for it, they would. In fact, I suppose they have with shelter, houses, and rent. Um, but, you know, that's just indicative of capitalism, isn't it? Making all things... Posture. You know, all things of comfort. You know, coffee equals nap. <laughs> Is that like the Slipknot song, people equal shit, but coffee equals nap, you know? Um, hmm. Well. This is going to be a bad chain reaction of sorts. Oh, it's already turned to water. Very nice. Nice. The barrel's not going to explode. I can theoretically get more water now. Ah. The commoditization of the human experience. True. Right. It doesn't actually matter, right? If I black hole down thinking about it, what's the worst that happens? I get into the second floor. And I can always then, once I'm in the second floor, find out exactly where the holy mountain is and figure it all out. I reckon. Right. You know when you're normally digging up from where the perks are or where it's safe to actually, you know, dig upward from a holy mountain? Like the shoot down into the biome. You can dig up safely there without angering the gods. It's about here. an angle, but... Well... Now we play the... I'm shooting at you. Can I hear you? Refill the water and flood it out? Nah. We just need to be a very cautious boy here. I need to... I don't know exactly where I've dug. If Scott's directly below me and I jump down... He's got the initiative. I have to head back up. You know, while shooting, but I'm stuck in a hole. If I shoot him and I can hear him and get information while I'm still defensive, that's power to me. I'm going to pour some water. I just don't trust it. Just a little bit. I'm not hearing anything, but technically it might not have spawned in. I'm not hearing any violence, put it that way. Ah, that's why. Ah, problem. If I can head down, and he's probably not come to... Hello? Right, he hasn't seen me. Which is great. If he hasn't seen me, he's not digging through biome to get to me. Because he can dig through biome. The good thing about the whole tunnel system, if he does dig towards me, he can't easily shoot through these tunnels. They're too small. He angles his shots, which is normally really annoying, but if you're in a tunnel, it's very hard for him to hit you. Problem is, I don't have explosion immunity, so the splash damage of his shots will affect me. It's a very tricky little fight. I could Ambrosia, but I've got to move a lot. I can't... I could use... The, I could go down, mod my wands, put a heavy damage on, let gravity take care of the rest. But the problem with the heavy damage is they not only slow down your wand, I'm pretty sure they reduce the lifetime of them as well. So I just might not get the distance I need to do the massive damage. I could put it on a trigger. And let it droop down using gravity. But again, it might not reach. It might not. If I'm using the trigger as well. Since it's an always cast homing. Might not get the homing on the shotguns that I need. Because I do 600 DPS with a shotgun. If all shots hit. And with the homing on each of the shotguns. If I hit his shield, it will homing on him. If I hit the outer shield, it will get him. 
but I'm not sure exactly how many shots I'm going to need to do. It does look very jank. I could shoot. Yeah, that's probably the best idea there, three babies. Shoot another black hole down. Shoot down. I think he needs to kind of see me directly to start digging. If he does, we just escape, get a better angle. Run away, you know. Heroically run away. Right, I need to... I think this line is a good indication, right? Okay. That's scary. Courageously ran away. Yeah. to the left and the right, or below, though. I'm glad I checked, because I knew Black Hole wouldn't have solved this. Ah. He's fucked me. I'm truly ass-invaded. Because he shouldn't head out. He shouldn't head out of... He can go to the left-hand side. If he's gone to the left-hand side, I don't need a new hole. I just need to wait for him to come back, get his attention, and head upwards. Slowly fuck him over. I could, you know, peek, see if he shoots at me. Is the fish alive? I'm kind of paranoid Shotgunner's going to come up top. You know? The worthy song for a worthy battle, though. And crank it up. I leave my music as the volume is, unfortunately. I need to concentrate, you know? Problem is, he could... Right, you see that hole as it goes down? If that goes all the way through to the next biome, he could get under it, see me, and then he's got the initiative. I don't know, where the fuck has he gone? He might be stuck in a wall, you know. Remember in the first floor? It might not have been the first floor. Um, remember when Steve first showed up in this seed in the main world? Steve ended up getting stuck in a wall when he shouldn't have done. It was really weird. Scott might have done so. And if he's stuck in a wall, he'll never see me. If he was to the right, he should have. We should have seen him by now. I've got no easy solution for this, apart from running, grabbing the perk, and running away heroically. I need that wand refresh, though. I need water. I need to get to the left-hand side here. Did I say right before? The problem is, I need to put myself at risk to get more information. I could black hole through there, since we know there's a hole to the wand refresh now, and I can get it. The problem is, if I do black hole through there and he is in the wall, and I release him, Ambrosia, maybe. I don't want to needlessly... Well, I'm saying that. I'm in a very dangerous position anyway, so... He should... Uh, if I shoot that lantern, he should see me now. I don't see his shield anywhere. Because his shield is like twice as large as his. fighting. We have an element of safety here, right? Because even if he approaches me now and I can't get out that way, I can't get out that way, I just black hole him. Maybe it went to the... <laughs> Maybe it went to the toilet. Maybe it did.
can love make aggroed enemies. Not if they're berserked or you're berserked. No, there's no way around that. If you shoot an enemy as well, they will always aggro towards you if they have the potential to aggro in the first place. Innocent and innocent creatures can't attack anyway. They've got no capacity to. Um, but if you have four more love, literally most of the entire world becomes passive towards you unless you shoot them. Yeah, pretty good. We're in a sketch usage. Where's he gone? Scott just disappeared on me, Prisco. Like, eerily disappeared. He's a big fella. He just doesn't go. Scott had something coming up. Had to take the Monday off. I was going to take Monday off, but then I realized that I'm into a run and taking a day off isn't um, conducive to consistency. I hope you're doing well, Prisco. could re-roll this, but I think I'll come back later. Depending how much I need to re-roll further down, I suppose. Yeah, we've had it happen in the main world. Scott just went into a... Steve just teleported into a wall over yonder on the left. The problem is, if he's kind of stuck, we've had Scott... and Well, Steve, sorry. Just appear on the left-hand side before. So if I am moving over to the left hand side it's ambrosia up that's for damn sure no sign of him anywhere nothing no signs of fighting either hold on wouldn't he wouldn't be able to get through there he's done a sneaky teleport yeah i'm not losing to this scuff no fucking way it's not cricket, it's not on. It's not any type of sport, really, is it? I'll apologise for taking my time, but I'm not saying sorry. There's no way to slow my black hole. I don't have decreasing uh, speed items. I've got repulsion. There's no way of slowing it down. I've only got one black hole. Um, Ambrosia will do the job. The good thing about the structure of this holy mountain is there are little blocks in the way. You see those blocks holding the things up? They are really good defense against Steve and Scott. They block shots all the time for you. Yeah, good times. Ah. I need to perch myself just near that hole. Does that hole go all the way? It does... Because maybe Scott escaped from out of that. And if I head down there even a little bit, maybe we get his attention. Which is good. It's actually, you know, I'd prefer him to be down than to the side. Why no crit hits? It's not good enough. I might re-roll it later. I might never come back here, though. Hit that wall teleporting up. That should leave me with a fan Yeah. Ah, doing a big teleport over. Maybe let's get the water and black holes back. R get the fuck out of here. Get a Lumi drill. Inviscrida? Ah, I'm not paranoid. You're paranoid. I mean, if he's not reacting to that and we can't hear anything, he's not there. Mystery. Mystery button finally made sense. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, distributes goods. Wishes and memory before it becomes ghost. Merry Sunday. Sunday for you. It's a nice little uh, Monday here. Call Nancy Drew. <laughs> Who the fuck is Nancy? 
He's definitely not there. I want to see if he's stuck in a wall. The problem is, what happens if he shows up from the right answer? Yeah, it's... Whoa! He's not going to drown. I don't want to get any closer than that. At least he's contained. Highly contained Scott. Why, though? This is a consistency in this seed. Sunday. It is. I saw the sun today, although it was very grey. He's afraid of you. He's taken refuge in wall. I had a feeling that happened, because he just doesn't disappear, you know, apart from a situation like this. And we had precedent in the previous world. This music too whimsical. <laughs> now we've got a bit of a conundrum. We have limited black holes. Problem is, is he ever going to escape from that? Because I don't necessarily need to come back here. But if he escapes while I'm still around here and I don't really pay attention. The left wall wasn't loaded when he wandered away? Maybe, Alex, but he didn't really have time to escape there. The thing is, once the wall unloads, Alex, he should unload as well. They unload at the same time. When you get out of the save file box, you're in. I wish I had drilling. Fuck him up by the drill. I'm not, I'm not actually sure homing would suffice, then. My short range. The problem is, we don't get any information about fighting him. The next Scott we find, the same could happen. He might actually get away with not being in a wall next time. I have a strong feeling the NCs remain loaded longer than terrain. Maybe. That's a possibility. It might be why enemies... Well, no, you'd see enemies in terrain a lot more than Alex. Like, if that happened a lot, you'd see a lot more enemies in terrain just chilling, not able to move. Um, of course, they would drown, maybe, most of them. But you definitely see Scott and Steen walls a lot more than we do. Also, we were we probably had the entirety of the Holy Mountain loaded in. Even if we hadn't seen it. Because we got Don't shoot me, bro. I mean, we got to about here. And saw him. There. He could have had time to go under and over. I think Fish was dead. The only question now is, do we go through the biome? No, we're going to need to Tunnel Snake. Because we, ne we need to head back up. And heading down and up... Ah, do I reroll that, though? Because we hey, can, Ace! We can, we do. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, go get some love on me out in chat for Ace's eight months. Uh, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub there, dude. That uh, means a lot. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well here on this Monday. The thing is, right? Scott, well, Stee, in the previous world, we came back to him after a long time away, and he was still stuck in the wall. So I don't expect him to get free. There are going to be... Nah, uh, I'll probably leave that. We've got one more love out of a holy mountain. That's a success story. Because we fucking hey, Luthamir! We, we do. Tunnel snakes rule LST69 meow. They do indeed, my friend. They do indeed. Can we get some more love and meow and chat? A Luthamir, show some respect. For people who can keep this channel going. Doing what we do strongly. But heroically run away. 
because we got what we needed. It's unlikely we'll need another Ambrosia for quite a while. This teleport is uh, a little bit annoying. I don't want to touch the top of a wall because these can make bubbles when set on fire. Ah, shit. That was a bit of a whiff. I said that we can take all of the refreshes though, so there's no one who really has the advantage if I'm going down like this. I can just punt a hole. Might actually be just beneficial to go to the side here. Yeah, we're locked in anyway. We can just shoot diagonally back into to rain. Or we could just head down. Secure the area. The trouble is toxic. Yeah. But I hope you're both well. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you can join us for some very trepidatious moving forward. Here ends in no hit runs. Shot. Stop, 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 stop. No. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Guns out. I'm busy at work day. We're doing well. Always enjoy the runs. I'm glad you do, man. Same here, same here. Ah, oh, beautifully done. So I really need some straight black holes here. Ah, nice. Stop, you. Oh, it's a worm. Hello. Very nice. Oh. I can drink my worm blood now and get some visuals and refill. Oh, it's really dark, isn't it? How about no? I will not, you know, live in darkness all my life. Give it a classic refill. 200 seconds should be enough. <laughs> should be. Just don't upwalk me. Tunnel snaking is dangerous, right? You know? It's not a healthy activity. Good and Oh, nice. That might go up into an eyeball, but I'd rather it go upwards, but not... Right, I'd rather it punt into the teleport liquid rather than go into the shop or go into the biome itself. Because it gives me the advantage against Scott. I get to see him. I get to watch him. Oh, I didn't get into the teleport. Very nice. Oh, I did though. Actually, ooh. I again, I could set it on fire, but that produces the propane bubbles. Drivers go over it. Right, this knee. This is the. I might go over the eyeball. Nice. Not into the biome, though. Good, good. Shop down there. I see it. Oh, we're down. I can see. Yeah, I can see. Um, It's probably best to shoot a black hole that way. It, it's a bit of an angle. Creep on, Scott. Yeah, I don't cube. No. Again, until we get more love, or... I don't know how many much... I don't know how much more love I need. Because... Remember when we had one more love and Steez were fine with me? That was really weird. Like, one more love and Steez were like, chill, bro. It's been a bit. How are you doing, Fast Flack? I've been very well. I've been enjoying some, you know, different, nice, uh, lighter ends. 
keeping it busy, you know? Whether it's Cauldron, no hit runs, the good variety within those two subjects themselves. It's huge. Covering all realms of Noita. But now, we move on with the sun. No hit run. He should be loaded in. Is that? He might be stuck. He might not be able to travel through these holes if he's not digging terrain. He's too big. So maybe I go under him now. Because he should fo like he should follow it quite a clip. We have quite a lot of black holes to utilize anyway. Just we can use this as a uh, ooh. Mm. bit of a sightseeing. There he is. Um, I could leave him up there. <laughs> I could shoot a black hole up there. That might go into the biome, though. Again, what is the perks? Can't tell. <laughs> I don't want to get too close, you see. It's dangerous. We should have shot him a little bit. So now, one times more love. Scott loves walls. As they should do. One breeder. Nothing pertinent. He might be stuck because we're re rolling that. It just depends if we do a snatch and grab and trust he stays up there. Problem. If he doesn't stay up there and he knows I'm in the shop, he can do a proper ambush. Like, he can come back down the hole and cut me off as I'm collecting perks and. Thing. Or, because he can't travel through that, I could shoot up here, black hole, and it might go into the above biome. Though. But if he doesn't activate his terrain destruction, he's got no hope. I can just cheese him with the. Uh... Hey, donkey, how you doing, man? Things go well. Scott is incapacitated. Again, to get these perks, I have to get him out of line of sight. Now, I would see him come back down the hole. Trouble is, he does have a bit of a... He's picked a good position there to piss me off. Eh, yeah, Rubicon. I could... Right, you notice what I did there before? I made a triangle. A defensive triangle. Just so I could, you know... Basically, shooting from here, back up, and just have a definite ability not to get shot. You know, triangle offer protection. And then, if he tries to come from the top here, bang. You know, maybe black hole another time. Or head down here as he goes above. Or he comes below and I go over the top. If he's not digging terrain, we can ruin him. Hey, love, how you doing? Up warping with some ambrosia. So he feels more safe and doesn't go in dig mode. Again, it's odd how he digs sometimes, and sometimes he doesn't. I need to figure out, one day, why he actually does dig and why he doesn't. Walks into a shroomish room and sits on the floor. <laughs> hey, barnacle boy. How you doing, man?
greed, probably. Cheeky bastard. Yeah, you get... Whoa. Enough. The fuck are you dancing for, mate? Makes me think I should try and. Hmm. Might be able to get him. Ah, I said that. I shoot him. He's definitely going to move forward. At least we got a shot on him. Now, whichever way he comes, we get to have another free shot. And just go round, round and around. Until, until. But what is two? A two. Nice little bottle two, mate. It used to be a lot cheaper, but it does interrupt their stream. So I made it expensive. So it feels artificially inflated prices to make it feel like it's actually something rather than nothing. Of course he blocks me off. But of course he moves faster when I shoot him. You know, it makes sense now, right? Not in a rush until threatened. He's all three five both of them. <laughs> he definitely only cares when you're at a certain distance away from him. At least we got more slots. I could just go get the one refresh. Then you know, come back. Poke a hole or two. Because maybe he's stuck in that hole. But the real problem here is... I don't have information about where he is. So he could be down this hole. He could be down the other one. Now, if I head down one of those holes and I've chosen wrong... His staff should... When he shoots his staff, he brings it up, doesn't he? So it should be in the wall. Is playing with the controller more challenging? It's more comfortable. I get to sit back and relax and... Enjoy. Rather than uh, have it be any sort of supreme bullshit. Right then. We could make a third hole. Information, come on. This is mission critical issue. Playing a good little mini game, this little bitch. Mini boss fight. But he says, uh, dependent on the seed, whether or not you can win. Uh, do you mean in general or on these no hit runs? Because technically, you can always win any challenge you want to do, unless it is RNG based. And this isn't RNG based, so. That's why I like doing it. In general, no, you can win all the time. You can street this game for as long as you want. There's some level of bullshit sometimes, but it's your job to get past that. He's not going to move for that encouragement, is he? How many black holes am I willing to spare to get around him, though? Two? Maybe three? I should have actually checked how many black holes I had left. Just win. I suppose I've got nine independent black holes and then up to four. Well, minimum of four extra after that. So, probably black hole below him. I'm bad at this game. Search cry. 
Now, all it takes is time and effort, dude. As long as you got that, you'll get that. Yeah, I don't think we play with Scott. There's no point playing a losing battle. Because I need to be right every time. He needs to be right once. Oh, we don't play that game. We play another game called Fuck You. And the horse you rode in on. I'm going home. There's gas somewhere. I need to back up for a sec. I heard Squidgely's... Uh... Ah. At that point, it just gets boring. Yeah, that's why I don't really like uh, win streaks. As much as I like long, drawn out, and very strategic runs. No hits just slow you right down. You become overly cautious. In a bad way. This is good overly cautious. Because there's actual real big stakes here. For a split second decision, everything changes. When if you get hit in a streak, you can still carry on, you know? See some fly with a godly light. It's half flapping to help him keep afloat. <laughs> oh, it's those squidges. We're fine. Ah, oh, I, I still don't have information about where he is. He could be... Oh, we can see his shield, though, right? The problem is, if I shoot a black hole through here and wander through here, he might get a line of sight on me. And he does walk slow unless shot. I mean, if he does come down here, I can just loop back around again. I've got a black hole again anyway. No! We'll give him a bit of time. Since he technically now has a proper line of sight. Yeah, Barnacle Boy, thank you for the follow, man. I don't even see his shield. And he's going to have a... Like, he can't really shoot through a hole like that. He just doesn't have the power. Yeah, the triangle was up there. We never went beyond... Sniper. We never went beyond the triangle. So he shouldn't have done In case anyone, for some reason, made it into that hole. Ah, oh, it doesn't go all the way. Nice. This run could be renamed. Symposium with the sneaky scoots. Could be. You son of a bitch. We don't shoot him. Yeah, I thought you were properly stuck. Bit of a whiff that one, but that one. Oh no, we need to whiff it. We need to get all the way over there. Ah shit! Oh no! That's a sniper or so. Hey, one more love might change everything. We have to come back up this way, though. <laughs> so if he's followed me up to a certain point. Could have been for a nice surprise. Problem is, we know there's a sniper down there. I don't know how far I'm away from the land. Snipers have quite good long shots. Just anyone who's trying to linger on the left. Could easily happen. Ah, yeah. Rosie had dropped this. The real problem is, again, if we bump into Scott and he's managing to get through the tunnels, 
at any point. Like Ambrosia, I suppose. Can't think about it now. Might even get peace along the way. Ah, shit. Ugh. Again, when do we actually dig to the side? Of... Probably here. Yeah, perfect. These scuds. They're a bit of a menace, aren't they? Hopefully, I saying that, if I, if I do get peace... Scooter. What's it? Oh! Cheeky. Um. Hmm. Doesn't it render the whole scene if you have a wide monitor? Well, it renders quite out in front of you, renders enemies in terrain. Like, in a larger rectangle than your screen. Like, about, you know... I don't know how much, but it's quite significant. That's annoyingly angled. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, get undercover, though, because the snipers. I still go for an eyeball, but it's not going into terrain. Saying that, if I do go for an eyeball, nah, it's fine. Whoopsie. Ah, don't mind, again. I can just Saying that, the black hole seems to delete the teleport. Or up warp it or down warp it. We're not scared of Scott, he just went and uh, went on to him home without the stress of having to uh, fire his weapon on the day job. <laughs> yeah, he's fine, he's, uh, he's a pal, really. What the fuck is going on? I have three shots left at most. Well, minimum. Right, where's the eye? Oh, that's fine. Uh, again, it could be more straight. It could be less straight. I mean, ah, there we are. Did we go for an eye? And did it? Yeah, it went through an eye again, but the liquid's not there. <sighs> Problem. We are, well, we have two black holes left, so the only thing we can do defensively is make a triangle again. Shoot down, try and get a few shots off, or wait for him to. We could wait for him to go to the left. And sneak in, sneak out. Even without invis. We've done it before. But I shoot down there. But to fill the triangle out. Good, we got this. Shoot down there as well. I need to do it at quite a nice angle. Otherwise, we collapse it and then we get stuck. And I do not want to be stuck in a fight in the adhesive base. I could just teleport right away. And... Uh... Oh. I prefer you weren't around me. TBH. Ah, uh, nah. Depends where he goes. Like, right, if he went down and to the left there. Uh, what are you doing? What are you chilling there for? I kind of don't want him to come here. Like, right, I don't want to... As long as he's got that kind of angled hole going... Yeah, cool. Wonder if the liquid and body would help me. Because I could angle shoot into the shop section. So I can peek at more of the stuff. I forgot you're a melee immune. 
I was, I was wondering how many people in chat um, shot themselves in. Shoot into the shop section. I could then shoot down. Say he tries to come through the shop section, I shoot down and then just triangle him again. Since he's not wanting to dig, it doesn't seem I have the over. Uh, doesn't seem I have the overarching DPS to take him on quick and safely. Because again, I can't confront him straight face to face. That's not a winning strategy. Even if he can't easily fire at me, I still need to assume he can. So I might shop section. See what we've got. How angry. Ah, <laughs> nothing good. Don't have enough for a re-roll either. Hmm. I suppose I could put the Lumi Drill on the wand. Make it fire faster. That's a big win. I'm working against nearly a solid second of uh, recharge time. Yeah, if he wants to go under to the right. I could take the banner off, how much? Because of the, the slow shooting of it. Yeah, it's not even getting half its mana consumption underway. So the mana's just really slowing it down for Castellan. Buoyancy, the son of a bitch. I could just leave this. I still need the wand refresh, but that's a quick telly there and telly back. There we go. Fuck you. Make a decision, mate. Um, For Petrify to work in the first place, the enemy needs to be below a certain HP percentage. It doesn't just automatically petrify people. To say someone's below 20% HP, then they can turn to stone on the next hit. Yeah, I just want to check the ones for Loomis. But if I go down and check the ones, he will see me. And I couldn't search them fast enough and purchase anything I want fast enough. I mean, if I put that on and I shot at him, it would wreck house. However, I don't trust the length, really. Like, if I did that, maybe. Like, drooped it off. Teleport up here and escape. That distance is nothing. Well, that, that could actually do him in that. That kind of, you know, hide behind, you know, the upward thingy. Although, I could shoot straight down now and do that. Like, drop these down. Now, the speed on the black hole doesn't matter. I've got repulsion anyway. This, uh, taking the same speed. I'm just leaving the speed there because, uh, you know, it's nice to have it though. Hmm... He's committed. Good angle. I need to know if he's coming up any specific way, because again, we just don't shoot him. 
There's no point engaging in combat if we don't have to. We just need to collect what we collect and bugger off. Got no black holes left though. Where's a hide hole? Possibly. Ah. Nah, Ambrosia is useless at the moment. If he charges me, I just go back into my hole. He can't shoot me directly in the hole easily. But now he's guarding the ones. Is what I truly want, and the refresh. He pieced out. Not in the way I would have liked. Because I can't really change the terrain anymore for fighting. It's all This is all I've got now. The one thing I do have is flashing myself and getting him to follow me and then scooting around. And pee on him to assert dominance. We're in a really precarious situation as well. I didn't even take... Like, we've got about a full world worth of perks. No more, no less, really. Um, we're not that powerful at all. Ah, free, ah, freezing? Yeah, I'll put it on just just in case. We have to fight. Because the glass, da glass cannon damage on the freezing will multiply as well. Increased lifetime. Isn't that going to take it over, though? Because the longer the lifetime, the longer it'll just chill on the floor, and the longer it will, you know, likely. Ooh. Why was one of those shots really super uh, rapid? Oh. Hold on. Oh, I'm shooting a Lumi. <laughs> Whoops, sir. Running out of mana. I am. Um, not the biggest whoopsie ever. Bit of a tactical nightmare. If only we'd found an invis potion, would have changed everything. Look at the heavy on now. That's 44 times 5 times 6, you know? It's a lot. Actually, how much is it? If I hit every shot. Two thousand. No, that's 2920, I think. Yeah. But not that bad, especially with the heavy damage and the greed. No. Very nice. We need long distance cast to use those though. A crit? That'd be very nice. We only have a certain amount of money though. We can't really be going for that much money. I'm gonna need those plasmas for later maybe. Again, if I can get like two or three long distance cast and a short range homing, they're exceptional at taking everyone down. Why are you stuck in a wall? Problem is, I don't have an independent healing at the moment, so I can't say, even with a trigger slap on anything, and then have the shotguns with that amount of damage homing. Can't you yunk them? No. 
you can't yoink once. Unfortunately. But a nice little additional crit goes a long way. We're still in sketch mode. I'll probably take the freezing off. For now. So I don't... Like the heavy damage, I'll probably keep that on. Because I might not... When I actually see Scott again, I might not have time to slap it on. I might not be uh, close to the actual holy mountain. Hey, howdy, let me pin. Uh, I uh, hope you're having a good demo. Well, ooh, I don't have enough black holes to get to the eyeball and get to the other. Holy mountain. Can we drill you away that true, actually? Ooh. Very good point. Ah, uh, there is a problem with Lumi drilling, but we might be able to get around it. I will need to increase the lifetime, that's another bitch, though. Maybe we just mod our ones now and. I've taken the manor off. It's a good one. It can work this. There's no backfiring. Ah, for, right. The real problem is if I don't have increased lifetime, I'm really close to the wall I'm digging. And that's how you get fucked as a tunnel snake. With bubbles, with up warp. What you want, you want to be digging a big hole. And you want to be away from the fresh dug material for a while. I do have matter eater, but I do not have long distance cast. Awful uh, flask of telephone from the pockets above, but that's kind of scuff. That would be the most sketch, you know. Unwilling to perform that level of feat. I mean, it's annoying that this costs so much. Am I not wrapping it there? Oh, there you go. I mean, that's going to take a little while, though. But maybe what we do, we use the black holes to get as far as we can, and then we just dig the rest. Because it might actually be less than we think. Yeah, it's unlikely I need teleport as much as all that. Although, it's a bit of a problem for Scott heading in the opposite way. Nah, fuck using slime. If I misfire my slime, I take damage. I shoot it into a wall I'm close to. Actually, with Matter Eater, it might not, but I'm not willing to mess around with it. I've making a uh, career of not messing around with harm in these no-hit runs. I'm not going to start now. Is the eye that worth it, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. We need long distance casts. We need all good things. That's a bit downward. But as long as I kick this down along with me, we have a bit of protection now. I don't really want to use my all-seeing eyes and stuff like that. I want to save them for, you know, when it is, is dangerous, opposed to feels dangerous. 
Oh, it didn't breach. Good job. Because this biome is actually shorter than you think. Hey, 87. Yeah, fine. Nearly six hours into it. Don't bubble me, though, you bastard. I need gas fire. I really do. That should reach the end of the biome into the rock. As long as we are outside of the biome, there shouldn't be that many bubbles. Yeah, there you go. Oh, perfect. Because this is easier to... Lumi drill. Start that process. Actually, we're quite far into... It's brickwork. What does... Buddling? I'm not sure what you mean. Buddling you? Bubbling! Ah, you know the propane gas? That can upwarp. Like acid, lava, bubbles. Me digging these tunnels is dangerous. There is all sorts of fuckery that can happen in a, you know, tunnel snaking lifestyle. Uh, we accept the risks because it's safer than going for the biomes historically. But yeah, it's actually probably easier going around this way because you've got more indications of exactly where you are. Going into the jungle. Problem with jungle is there's a lot of fucking acid and stuff. I never like digging around the jungle. I mean, with that 2,000 DPS, we could kill dragon. Maybe. But please give me a long distance cast, because that'll allow me to shoot through walls then, and then everything's fine. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of an overstatement. Everything will be better than before. At least I've got a Lumi now. This can only get better as well. I could apply damage to the Lumi, and then use that as main weapon. It's a bit of a difficult one, though. It's not going to ever really do as much damage as a shotgun. Even though it does fire faster. Sometimes it's going to be a single pixel slip between um, what I assume is unloaded chunks. And once you're bursted, there can be a ton of fire in the tunnel or something. Yep. No, I don't. Once I've got fire immunity, oil upwarp is fine. It's all the other type of upwarp I don't like. We can actually get a bit of money here as well. I suggest we do. Even though the greed won't help. We are really uh, low on money. Hey, another Lumi. That's going to speed up my shotgun wand if I need it to. Because it's just too slow at the moment. It's recharging too fast for what I'm firing. Yeah, death. Um, probably not re-roll, but... Because there's other purchases to be made in other parallel worlds, but... We're nowhere near done powering up yet, like... This is... It's not slow. We've been getting good stuff. Like, the more love is really good. Pacifying enemies reduces up warp. Because if enemies aren't attacking each other as much, there's not that many explosives. Oh, projectile weakening. Touch of? Most bosses, unfortunately, are resistant to touch offs. This is a bit annoying. Not the worst I've ever seen. Not the best eyeball. But we're getting there. We're doing our thing. We're making it work. Apart from enemy with wand and up warp from the tunnels or we you know when you're fighting you just lose yourself while fighting and you just don't perform like in the Heesey base with that rifleman where you know we both shot and whiffed four shots and then hit each other at the same time you know fighting like that that's a prime example of just not finding your balance in a fight apart from stuff like that 
There's no reason why we just can't go parallel after parallel now. Getting the power we need. And once we've got it, we're onto the sun. But this shouldn't be, you know... I could probably get this done by tomorrow. But I'm taking, I'm taking tomorrow off. Or it might be, you know, two more days after this. But it's not going to be the, you know, nine stream, 33 all, all boss, no hit. The 30, it's not going to be 37 hours, put it that way. And that 37 hours was without pause time, you know? So. I have one slot. So that projectile weakening is huge. 20% extra damage. We have to go back and come back in. I can't leave that on the table. You're about to stack stainless. No. If I was going to do that, I would make a world teleport one. I, I, I think that's a real pussy way of doing a no-hit run. Personally. Although it would take talent to get to that point, once you obtain that, there's no threat. What? You just walk, you just like, you know, on a parade, basically, getting cheered at all the way home. There's no danger. What's the point of watching it? Apart from the normal, you know, enjoyment of watching Noyo. There's, no, there's nothing extra. Where this is dangerous all the way to the finish line. And I like that. It's exactly why I do it. We get to replace the... So this fires... Back to normal. Yeah, why am I carrying this around? I've never had any, like anything I don't have experience in. Like, this could be really useful. I'm not opposed to using it for something. It's just that I'm not experienced in it. So I'm more likely to fail in a clutch moment than make it succeed. So here it goes. We have all the tools in our repertoire already. I'm always open to adding to that repertoire, but in live combat? Hell no. Hey, my golden cape is clean as a whistle. Just got it fucking, you know, dry, cleaned. Fresh draft. I shouldn't be walking like this over this. What I should be doing, I should be, well, I should be in a bigger hole than this. The hole should be at least two to three times bigger to prevent not to prevent the upwarp, but just to give me places to move, just in case the upwarp happens. It's why having orbital LARPA is really good. Although you can make your holes too big, it's better to have the bigger holes than not. But that's really good. Did you kill a dragon? We're not even at jungle yet, mate. This is our first parallel... We weren't... We could have been powerful enough in the main world to go after Dragon. It just wasn't mission critical because we've already got good ones. We got this one from... And we're not even using it. Um, you know, we got this one from Cheese in the Pit Boss. This one as well. So just a lack of functionality. Although unlocking the LARPers would be pretty cool. The real... I said that, yeah. The real problem with unlocking the LARPers is then they can be found on wands. Enemies could find LARPA wands and use them against me, right? Or is it only findable in the shops? Can't remember. Don't wish to find out. Unless absolutely necessary. Good job is we put a light on the end of our Lumi as well, so... We don't have to wait for my visuals to catch up. We can see a threat straight away. We can stop digging if we're punting into a biome. They can be always cast at least. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know. Unless absolutely necessary for... You know, because I might get Matt eats a long distance cast. I might be on the cards. How far are we away?
Fuck this moss, you know? Ah, oh, there we are. The thing is, I want to see PC base. I want to see if there's any wands or potions that are easily grabbed, you know? I really need that gas fire. I'll probably take Freezing Field near the end. Although I could take it earlier on. The problem with Freezing Field, it's not going to stop acid damage. Acid always cast one. Put myself in the line of fire, maybe? Don't you fucking dare. I definitely want to get a Lumi Hole ready to shoot them. Chop them up. The problem is now I've made a proper hole right through. <laughs> Whoopsie. Although I can throw Lumis quite nicely, so. The chance of them getting an angle before I've killed them, very low. Although, yeah, Sentry is very unlikely to. Maybe. It's, a, it's worth a check, right? Yeah, we'll make a new hole. It's just easier not to be bothered by all the blood. I need to get closer visuals as well. Maybe, you know, not get compromised from that hole. I don't. I took it off. Not an easy one. Gold? Gold sack. Oh, it might be worth it, you know. This is pretty well contained. Enemies would be able to work their way through there. Sniper up there. Big man up there as well. Could go up, make another micro hole, shoot them through it. You know, probably the best plan. And I can't have. Oh, we're at the top. Nice. Again, being at the top is so cool. Can't get attacked from anyone above. You know, once you assault this, little problem. I'm not explosion immune. Um, that's a body. Oh, it's me. Good old mate. Do I blow up this propane enough? Well, one, I probably don't go in there. I probably go in here. Because it's easier to see any riffraff. I dig an angle this way and make a hole. That way I can definitely get an angle and see him coming in. Shoot them in the face, if necessary. Fine. Whoa, how you doing, Peter? So many perks. Uh, we're in Parallel World 1. Not as many perks as you might think that, Peter, but good perks. Good perks. There's an always cast one gold down here. It's nice. Yeah, if I blow up that... There's a trench there now. So I might utilize that trench just to see things. Getting through there, though. Yeah, throw a few through. Hmm. It never gets old, you know? Heading into a bioma, like, six plus hours in. It's endurance to the highest order. Hope you're having a good Monday, man.
got an idea. We'll drain the blood. Could kill that dude as well. I've got to keep on checking I'm not being peeked at. Are you not going to drain from it? Back it up now. That was... I might blow up that propane. Get out of the way. Oh. Those bubbles are going to take a little while. How's your day been, guys? Yeah, if that propane is going to take time, you know. Just do it. Get it out of the way. That way, because I've seen propane not, seemingly not take any damage before. And just fuck you over. At the most inopportune times. It's very rare, but... Like, they're already damaged and just waiting for you to, you know, walk over it, near it. Yeah, that's... Can't refuse gold. One single reroll can bring so much advantage. My way. And the way the reroll system works. You might be just leaving something on the table if you don't. Wand purchases as well. Ping pong would go a long way, you know. One mana. Change a lot. Sorry, you do have to wait and, and absorb and uh, uh, You have to wait, wait a long time for the bubbles to go. And I kind of want to shoot that place anyway. I don't want the one to... Yeah, you see those bubbles? I want fresh terrain. Hey, fuck you, bubbles. Waiting. Yeah, it's lingering. These are the things you need to know if you want to do a no-hit run. Lingering. And even then. It's a no-hit run now, I get it. I don't know, y'all. I don't take this much caution on my regular runs, put it that way. That wand and gold, though. The advantage of getting them is quite high. What's the second flask? Wormblood. I don't have All-Seeing Eye yet. I've got two All-Seeing Eye perks. The spells, sorry. Um, and the Wormblood. Uh, I think there's oil on top of that, so I don't want to accidentally drink. I'm just going to make a bigger hole for the blood. If it wants to dig, come on, man. out of the way so I can go here potentially dig under and make a new angle so I can approach it just kind of online you know I'll do because then I've got a bit more cover and there's you know there should be no bubbles here right Ah, more bubbles. Well, that's what happens when you shoot long distance Lumi drill. You're going to hit a propane. But not yesterday because you're flowing main. Oh, man. Awesome idea. You made a really wise purchasing decision. Is it still 20%? Was it 50 or 20% off? If not, it's still worth the money you paid. No, I can guarantee you.
drilling has potential. I don't need it. And I don't want to go back, mess with the wands. I have to leave a wand behind. If only it was an O-Shuffle. Even then. A light shot. It removes damage. So I could put a Lumi Drill on it and stuff like that. Maybe even the Black Holes, but... No, I do. Oh, good. Just in the nick of time. Here's all the pineapple for Dakaru. <laughs> hey, tip soon. Yeah, I don't want to shoot into the jungle. I've got melee immunity, so anyone chasing me through the brickwork is melee only. Um, there's a likelihood of just... If I shoot all the way through, then we get screwed on by rifle or explosive heesing. Uh, I don't want that. Historically, I'd rather say no. Ah, uh, it's that rifleman. Oh. Thinking about just clearing these dudes out. Know what I mean? Nah, the wand isn't any good. Good. Enough. Yeah, I need to get that teleport liquid out of the way. So I need to be above, sorry, to be above the shop, I need to be either, you know, just above or below the eyeball. I don't really want to be, you know, on par with it, because we'll get more uh, teleport liquid. Yeah, that's gone in the eye. <laughs> don't want to punt into the biome below. Oh, that's actually not so bad. That's, you know. Hey, Eliops. Uh, meticulous work of a no-hit night. Uh, indeed. Never ends. We'll get to refill our water anyway, so... And teleporting right now would be... Historically bad. <laughs> Try and blast it, I suppose, but... I don't see that doing the best work. Since I'm going to need to come back this way. Water it all down now. Nice. Fuck's sake. That's gone up into a biome. Snipers. It's got a good chance of going up into a biome, that considering the tub is here. It's right next to another tub. I think we just shoot a second black hole, and when we come back, really watch ourselves. Yeah, that's good. Even if it goes into the shop. Oh, my fuck's sake. Although, I do have a chance before Scott gets there. Oh, we're well above it anyway. Nice. Well above it? Yeah, oh, we are. Don't whiff. Yeah, shoot upwards. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Why? A bigger hole. More teleport area. Get the water on it. Shouldn't have gone up into a biome that. Some rumbling going on. Oh, it's got... Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ah. Yeah, 
I need to have visuals all down this hood. Might be a silly question with Breathless. See of Water, Lightning Stone, get me a pacifist win. Should do, right? Just looming him through the ceiling. Bad idea. The problem is his shield, even though Lumi fires really fast. I'd want homing on those Lumis just to push through the shield. I want to see what those perks are, because if we can get more love. Sorry, not more love. Peaceful gods. Long cast for Sneaky Steve assassinations? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, long distance. Breathless! <laughs> to be fair, I'm making a hole big enough that he can get through. I shouldn't do that. I need a hole big enough that I can get through. Um, could be a reroll that, but it's a hole I can shoot through, and Steve couldn't shoot through either. So I can blast away. Oh, we're safe, right? I can blast away through that. Have the homing just, you know, and I could take cover either side. I'm gonna take up some command positions. Maybe make some holes like this, just to drop a few shots in. The thing is, do you know, Priskip, if you're around, what activates his terrain digging? Because every time I go up against him, like, is it New Game Plus can I take for him? I always feel like he doesn't have it when I'm actually expecting him to have it. I need some triangles or at least kind of, you know, multi-directional escape routes. So I can't take this dude too light. You see how fast he moves. Theoretically, he, he can dig terrain. And theoretically, although I haven't seen him recently. Where's the sheep field when we need it? Ah, oh, no, that would be awesome. Seems like he doesn't have to I mean, he lose his sight after engagement. He doesn't know. We've had many examples today. Even today. And in all my no-hit runs of Scott not doing that. There's a direct line of sight that causes it to activate. Yeah, that would actually be a bit more reasonable. Like the actual direct line of sight. And when he loses direct line of sight, he might lose it. don't know. He needs to clear a route to aggro towards Targets here. Turns on his terrain here once it's on. It's on. Well, no. Like, we've targeted him. He's targeted me. Saying that, he didn't shoot me in most of the examples, actually. Yeah, maybe it's once he shoots you. And has... Maybe it's once he actually has shot you. Unless the one more love. Like, we've always got something that might be helping, right? In these runs. We always take more love as soon as we see it in these runs, and maybe he can't get a certain amount of aggro. I'm just trying to think, because if I do shoot him, I need to be able to escape and go around in a circle, or even just run away back to high ground, basically. Because if I can make a hole small enough to shoot through, but he can't get through or shoot through even, um, yeah. Should have took that digging before. I can edit, actually. There's a little place down here you can edit. It. There you go. If you were to make a big enough hole, you would probably start raising terrain towards you. Again, uh, I just have experience of otherwise. 
He's annoyingly inconsistent. Blow the bastard. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have that one. And the crit. He's got no chance. Two shots done. Although I do need, you know, all my shots to hit him. The homing will help. Can't use the... Uh, I could bring... Yeah, for now. I do not need that on that. We need that on that. Maybe two loomies. Does run out of mana, but... Oh, if he terrain and then... Um... Uh, might be that the eye knows your location, but doesn't have a direct enough path to you. Then he turns on his material. Again, we've seen examples today that would say otherwise. Oh, yeah, then I can't dig. Uh. I need to be above him, though. Gives me the best chance to escape. Um, I actually put the all-seeing eye away for a second. Because I don't want them slowing down my teleport if I need it. Yeah, I'd assume it'd be roughly similar to Bridge Boss. Thing is, the only clear route we've got is that way. And if he took, if I, if I shoot him while he's at the left. I won't be able to produce enough snow too quick. That'll be enough for some of the shotguns to get through, but some of them won't. It's too bad we can't freeze them. There we go. Problem is, if he terrain destroys, this little defensive strut is useless. The best policy, yeah, is to have him come this way. If he, if I see him terrain eat. Right, teleport's ready. Ah, again, it's annoying because... That would have been good. Right, when he's right below it, I need to shoot him and have the home in do the job. And the problem is, if I shoot him while he's either left or right of that hole and he terrain eats, one, I might not have shot him enough to make a difference. And if he starts terrain eating, the hole's quite big. It's not going to slow him down. And the homing isn't amazingly sufficient. I wish I had Berserk. Homing need... Right. The homing is roughly the size of his outer shield. So what I need to do, I need my shotguns to touch his outer shield. And then the short range homing will work. But anywhere else, and it won't be close enough. Plus his shield could sh boop my shotguns into the wall and make them ineffective. Does area damage count? I'm not sure what you mean. What, you mean, like, area of effect damage? Of course it does. It's a hit. You missed from the code? Oh, if you weigh the 150 units, he starts to chase. If the line of slight is clear... Huh. You got the hole parallel to the one above you? Problem is, his sh with this hole, his shield is remarkably good.
This is the one less thing you have to worry about. True. How about Projectile Eater, though? Does Projectile Eater work with any of the essences that are coming out my ass, you know? Any reason you haven't visited the gold biome yet? Um, not really. We can get to it a bit later when things get really expensive. Also, if there is any problem finding any particular perk, if I just spend within my means at the moment and find everything I can, you know, if you've got the money, you're going to spend it. But if you figure out what you are missing and then have money, it's a lot easier to find what you want than if you've already spent on, you know, frivolous things. Which is more likely if you've got the money. Where the fuck is he gone, man? I'm making this professionally micro-sized tunnel snake hole. He's not even recognizing it, man. What even is Scott doing? He's worth... Fuck off. You've gone to the left. You've gone to the right? Or he's come back in this hole. Or he's teleported. Weakening curse. Slapping that on the wand, actually. Mmm... Not sure we've got the mana for it. Ah, sometimes we'd have the mana, sometimes we wouldn't. I could take damage field off. That's doing less than perfect uh, damages. Weakening would... Yeah, that's sometimes running out of mana, sometimes not. So I, I, that's doing as much as it can do. Yeah, good call. 20% is, you know, most definitely better. I just want to check these ones. Grab the perk. Get the refresh. Ah, uh, reference, uh, uh, 52 units? Ah. Uh, he could be anywhere. He could be anyone. Even you. <laughs> True. I haven't checked myself recently. Maybe he's just looking at the wand board, figuring out what I'm doing, you know? Alright, what's this son of a bitch up to? Maybe he's stuck in a wall somewhere. Like before. So now we have the ultimate escape route, regardless. I could pop my head down, and if he's around, get shot at, you know? <laughs> could do that. Could always do that. It's always an option. Come on, give me the information. The only good information. Where is that? What am I doing? <laughs> He's there. Might be a positive time. Right, since it took a long time for him to figure out to come through this hole, I think I've got time now. Right, what I need is a breach here. So if he does see me, we can exit without having to go through that hole. Or anywhere close to that hole. Because if he's trying to get through there, I'm already over here. Running away. He does seem to be preoccupied. Trouble is, if I want to go to the vault, or through, like, down, I need to come back this way as well, and I need to actually start digging to the right. He has a stream pulled up and isn't having any uh, bullshit. True. I need water. Why can't a worm come and just, you know, irritate this son of a bitch? Um, 
Ass Eater? Yeah, we just don't have everything together, you know? I don't have my long distance... If I had long distance cast, we'd shoot him through terrain and he'd be done already, like, an hour ago. Destroy the Worm Crystal. Nah. That's only in joking, in jest, you know? Right, number one. Get rid of those. Um, Ass Eater? It'd be good if we're running away, heroically. It could save my life. I'm trying to think how it could be negative. Apart from eating my precious black holes. But I won't be charging into my black holes. Heroically. Are you doing what I think you're doing? I think it's Ass Eater. Breathless is all well and good, but I never at any point during this run need to get, get in the lake. You may have stumbled upon a way to avoid Squid Ape. What, just switch positions? Have him in my pre-dug holes I worked amazingly hard for, you know? Him now owning that territory is not a win, you know? I may have taken the Holy Mountain, but this is a temporary state of affairs. But am I crashing into Pesad Rock? I might do. Why well, streamer using a dog whistle constantly? <laughs> Ass eater. The thing is, on my way back up, I need to remember all the positions of the Scooties who are alive. And the fact they might have changed position on the way back. I think I get Ass Eater and then approach Ass first. Especially in tunnels, right? Tunnels, yeah. Tunnel snaking and Ass Eater go together very well. They just do. And I might get both anyway. No. Oh. Face your fears, no eater. <laughs> but think about it. If I'm in a really tiny tunnel, I can't get shot on the ass. Which snipers and stuff like that are professional at doing. I could... Oh, to be fair, right? I could do this. I could pop my head up and shoot. And have him approach. And I should dominate. Could dominate, I should say. Approach life ass first. Because I've got a few defensive holes. One over there. That I could get through. One over there. It would be better to take him out. Earn the money. Double money. Nice. Breathless should stop gas damage? Uh, it stops you choking, not, you know, any other lung damage. Is there an ass declencher? Negative. Where's my long distance cast, man? I'm gonna trust you to limit your liberties and bullshits and common malpractices. There are gases that get you killed even if you hold your breath. Well, traditionally, holding your breath does get you killed in the first place. I just need to, you know, as I move into new territory, make sure he doesn't move his traditional position. How come there's light down there? Know what I mean? And it's good. Huh. 
Ah, I risked my entire life for that. Oh, the money. Only available after win event. Uh, that's a good upward momentum. I like it, I do. Don't be a prick. It was pretty. Pass another one there, the roof. Eh, it's all good. I missed it on purpose. Or I didn't see it. It's gone anyway. These ain't bad. Just. I need to be able to see when the dragon lines up. Which I can't now. So it's loomy. It was big, though. So is many other things, but I don't go waving that around, you know, in the street. And I wanted to show it everybody. Hey, yeah, look at this. Look what I found. Lying around. In my pants. Just not cricket. It's just not done. Ah, oh, there we are. Because you're British. True. And this is why YouTube can be so fun. Getting to see other cultures and what they do, you know, on a regular basis. Why even your man's one in public is prohibited. I wish someone had told me that sooner. Could save a lot of embarrassment. <laughs> um, there can be sometimes people who come in here and Take liberties. I could have gone down into the vault. Dump, dump, dump. Ah, perfect. I don't know how... Alright. Now I do. Uh. <laughs> Eyeball. Oh. Perfect. God damn! Who could press Vicious Society, man? That Luthan here? I can't read. It's too small on the screen. You buy yourself a new Preservation mugger the Luthan here. Hey, taking advantage of that 20% off, man. Oh, you say shake hands? Hey, I appreciate it, dude. It was too small on screen. It doesn't come up. Like, whoever buys something on my merch store, I can only find out afterward. It does pop up on the screen that I can see, but it's really small. It looked like Luthamir. If it was you, let me know. You did tumble snakes rule, and so does that Uka Preservation Society. It does, man. We get some appreciation. But man's who got mugs today. With a 20% off on the merch store, exclamation point merch. Get yourself a nice little renegade mug. Uko Preservation Society, your merch as well. And was that a bit loud or was that me? You know? <laughs> that woke me up. Ah, hydration time then. Because getting one parallel world a day done would be, you know, a good movement forward. You freely admit? Onwards. That's a brilliant name for a one side. What, Tunnel Snakes Rule? Alert was a bit of a startle. <laughs> Audio good. Hey, keep it making sure people are paying attention, you know? You need that kind of foghorn, like, you know, now and again. But I hope you enjoy your mug, and thank you for your purchase. May Uko offer you great protections and a stable life, you know? Mug pa you know, a lot of people don't notice, but uh, mugs need electricity to function, and that's what Uko provides on your mugs. He statically charges your drink so it tastes better. 
you, you know that kind of monster that is nitrous oxide? Car well, not carbonated, but nitrosized, I suppose. Um, Tony through a dunk or slam. Why do you prefer a controller? Because I'm not a little bitch bent over a fucking desk, mate. I like to lie down and chill. But no, in all reality, it's just what I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Played a lot of Xbox in my youth, mate. Played, right, I went from Counter-Strike, being bent over myself. Um, did all right, but when I got on Xbox and Modern Warfare 2, mate, controller, me in free-for-all, I dominated. I must say, you know, not a word of a lie. No idle boast neither. Fucked everyone up. Got me 10 nukes in free-for-all 10 times. Well, not 10 nukes 10 times. I got 10 nukes overall. And that was all right, you know, on controller. In free-for-all, you know. I did cheese quite a few of them. But some of them were actual just regular gameplay, like not even cheesing, just running around. Twitch means you can react faster. Yes, you can twitch as well. Anyway, cheers, guys. Stay hydrated. Mate, you could be with you. And charging all your drinks through static electricity power. Which Luthermere now has. Do you have that? You know? Hey, attempted. Hey, I'm glad you can join us, man. Indeed, these no-hit runs are the shit. I always love, you know, chat. When are you going to be doing this run? When are you going to be doing that run? When it's a no-hit run, because we eventually get around to it. You know, so the meme becomes a dream, becomes reality. But yes, we are allowed to be hit while Ambrosid. In the top left-hand corner, you see zero hits. As long as that says zero, we're fine. Why this site is called Twitch? Yeah, I'm just following a great legacy of gamers. Everyone else is on mouse and keyboard. Just scrubs. Not even... I'm a historian by education. I know my history. You know, I honor my ancestors and forefathers. I ain't going off, you know, disrespecting them. With no a mouse and keyboard. Shit, why is it always the way? I might go into a... The biome as well. Oh, imitating life? I'm not a gaming purist. I just, you know, believe heavily in certain things. Planned. Um, it might not have gone... Oh, beautiful. There can be a lot of acid at warp here. It's very dangerous. So... Having a little, you know, because it's more likely acid comes from below. So having a nice little notch like this to wait for a minute or two to let acid happen if it happens. Acid can come from down from above, but it's very likely to down warp when there's terrain to go through. Repulsion field secretly aims towards the nearest telly. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. Right, what are we like for... Accidental engaging screwdriver. Not bad. I mean, the crit and the crit and more crit and the damages and the weakenings. And the crit. Crit him right in the face. Nice gradual incline. That's what we're looking for. What are those explosives? Above or below. Either way, just, I should just keep going forward. I should charge forward, really. You know, no exceptions. No mercy! Alright, straight line. Not bad. Straightest black cup. No, we're fine. That couldn't have gone in. You see? Perfect. I get to see. Some bullshit is what I get to see there. God damn, these perks have gone so bad. Um, I'm gonna loomy drill the rest. <laughs> um, oh, are you going straight away, bro? That's a new one. No 
Ah, it's all ones as well. There's going to be no long distance cast, isn't there? Oh. Hmm. He's kicking ass with fish. Why is he firing for that long? Hello. Oh, you, can you see him? <laughs> He's a little, uh, you know, above my head. There you go. A little sentry. He was fighting with that fish for a long time. I wonder if fish gave him a good fight. <laughs> you know? Did he put in a performance? I hope so. We all want fish to do well. That's... Ah, we can't even reroll. Ah. These perks could stand the test of time. Sorry, ones. So getting more space also gives you more mana charge speed, doesn't it? I don't think it gives you more max, but I think it gives you more actual space. The gods are enraged, sends a strong guardian murder fish. <laughs> well, the gods, the gods don't get angry when we murder fish, but they're not happy about it either, right? He's taking a good look at the wand usage. Stop pretending that you know where I am. It's really disconcerting. Seems like he fucked hard with the perks overall. Uh, I mean, the Ass Eater, the Greed, and the More Love have been good. But overall, we cannot take Gamble. More likely to fuck us than help us. I'm not here to be fucked. I'm here to gently caress and to make sweet, sweet love. Door. Hey, Rombino. Thank you for the fault. Whoa. Yeah, get involved. Go in there. Fuck him up. I wonder if they're... We've got one more love. I hate how they just get involved with the wires. and. Yeah, on a long enough timeline, he'll fly in there. He'll fly in or out, you know? I just kind of like watching him zoom around, to be honest. We're fire immune, so even if he blows up, we're fine. They've been programmed so incorrectly, right? They've got no sense of direction to avoid terrain. They're like a Roomba. But a bad one. Bad Roomba. Bad Roomba. Tracks. From all cup. They always like to bully a small fry. Yeah, damn right. Ah. Engaging with Scott is... It's not 50-50, but it's certainly a big risk. And everything's on fire, like the burning sensation when you're trying to make a difficult decision in your brain. Do you get that? You know? <laughs> you're just trying to make a decision and it burns. It hurts, man. I do not have clarity of mind, you know. He fucked up the ceiling. <laughs> Just why? <laughs> you don't want the ceiling, is all. I mean, getting more space, even just for this one, for later on. If I get more mana, I could end up just shooting out. I'm saying that if I get, you know, an actual homing that does homing work. We could home. On a regular want. Where's he gone? Fucking hate you, bro. If he's gone in a wall, you know? <laughs> Again. Urgh. There he is. Did he just disappear? Nope. Did he turn his wand on and off? You know? <laughs> Has he got a little switch on it? Hmm. The problem is my ass eater won't be very effective against his shots. Because they tend to, again, kind of pincer you instead of straight on like a sniper. Uh, this is annoying.
Right, what are we on? So, 485. Right, what is it, Puff? 133485. 133485. 133485. 133485. Oh, thanks. I thought it gave you more. Or is it on the wand you're looking at? Nah. Neither of those have been improved. I thought... The fuck? I have no actual concept of time and space itself. What is even going on? You know? Launch black holes at him with your shots. So it pulls them into him until the black hole just gets bounced off his shield. Can he uh, just go horizontally? Get new perks without going deeper? Technically, yes. But it's very inefficient. He took more slots for them, though. I don't know what you expected. Uh, no, it's not just more slots. I'm sure of it. It might be the reduce. It might be the other one. You know, they reduce slots, but more mana and charge speed. But I'm sure more slots. Something else gives you more charge speed on a wand. I'm sure of it. Ah. One, I need that. I just need the refresh. I could actually use the rest of these black holes and then come back for it. I probably should do. Faster ones. Thank you, Mike. It is. Hey, more slots. Uh, I can't afford to reroll. We're going to... And increasing the reroll anyway isn't exactly great. Just because you get better stuff early. I mean... Yeah. Who even needs that? Lucky would have taken care of everyone for you. It might, he may have done, but then I've got a boy I've got to take care of. And I'm not prepared for the responsibility. Are you? Um, yes. That did go through. Ah. rather be... Yeah, that should be right. Is anyone prepared for the responsibility? Truth. Not quite far out, but that's fine. That's only a tiny hull. Might actually be a productive hole for me to get close. I mean, the problem is that mushroom could come up and... They always do bigger explosions than you think. Hold on, I've got three more black holes! <laughs> Swapper, shit. Yeah, better be prepared when you see how baby look at it. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Yeah. There's a difference. Um, yeah, it's make multiple holes. That's fine. You know. Ain't no one fucking with me now. They call me multi-hole suffer. Yes. Retained one black hole just in case I need an emergency boop. Never know when you need a boop.
It is unfortunate. We couldn't be given the exact things we need, you know, to speed up. <laughs> speed up the run. I mean, technically, one more love allows us to eventually, you know, when we get more of them, go into biomes and to press the issue to get more good stuff. But until that day, I'll have to wait. Has he gone disappeared? Hopefully in a wall. Maybe we need to do that more. You know, just leave and then hope he just disappears. <laughs> He's done it before. He could do it again. He's in the pool. Ah, oh, him being in the liquid is actually prime time to shoot at him. It's like he gets stuck there, I think. Again, I'm really paranoid about the splash damage from the explosives. If... Right. If we didn't not have explosion immunity, splash wouldn't be a problem. We can't freeze him. He's unfreezable. He, what happens is with, normally with big enemies like that, if you freeze all the liquid, he just goes Nyum, up to the top of the water. Oh, ice. Like, rapidly. Yeah, but the what? he's not fully in it. Trust me, it wouldn't work. Ah, the, par the paranoia about the splash damage, because it could poke a hole through here and shoot through it. The splash damage shouldn't go through to rain. The thing is, if I freeze him in, I've got to shoot at him anyway. Assemble the peasants, pack the mules, and don't forget, you might, <laughs> you won this time. I'm going on an adventure. Indeed, gone, indeed. Adventure be just part of life. Part of what we do. Oh. Since he doesn't have a line of sight, I could come up below there, like on the ground, where the wands are. I could search the wands and then just run away, maybe. I am massively out in the open, though. And I still need the wand refresh. Just to make sure, I definitely need the one refresh. Uh, Scooter has gone live, hot tub and fish. The fish are our bonus. Yeah, <laughs> liquid detonate the son of a bitch. Surely it is a way, of course. What I could do, I could do a long distance cast Lumi with the homing being automatic. You know, I take the shotguns off. This is going to take way too much mana, though. Probably. Right, there's nothing hurting me, though. Because the, shot, the shotguns take 50 for two shots. Oh, it's just not fast enough, even if it would home. It's only a single shot compared to... You know, quite a few anyway. Well, too slow. Long distance to plasma with homing. How do you propose a long distance? Then? Uh, is there any objective benefit to moving him? That's the question. Ah, uh, this might be good defensively, right? I open up a hole to the extreme left, like here. Shoot down it as much as I can. Teleport away over the, bri over the bridge. So he can't get an angle to shoot me. Jump down here. I could open up a new... Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to somewhat... Not open up the hole, but... Prepare to have a hole open here as well. Like, very... I do have a black hole left, so I could use that, but I'd rather just have a very thin line. Terrain is ready to be destroyed. 
Hmm. That's close to actually being penetrated through. Whoops. I wonder if you'll see that. <laughs> oh, no, there we go. <laughs> Use the buoyancy to float a statue into him. Hmm. The real problem comes from if it scuffs. Say I hit him and it doesn't do much damage. Then we've got a buoyancy circle just lingering around that could affect me fighting, running away, all sorts. Like if I try and shoot a telly, the telly shot could be buoyancyed. And I can't get away. It's something I'm not used to, fighting with it around. He might not be able to move, but he might have the power to move out of buoyancy. I don't know. So again, they all sound theoretically reasonable in a certain sense. Maybe even actually good. But considering we don't know the outcome, is it really wise? This will stop him shooting me at the very least through this little, uh, you know, as enough to... Ah, uh, the hole might be able to, it might be able to squeeze through that hole. I mean, it doesn't take much to kill him, especially if I'm shooting down onto him and ready to teleport away. How fast is the tell? Good enough, well, especially if I, you know. All right, let me just. Bang. Yeah too long. He does run 900. I mean, it should be one shot. <laughs> he might have per. He might have some defenses though. We'll get this really thin as well. We're ready to bang because there's nothing to do apart from killing them. The good thing is we do have a nice little circle adventure. Problem. If I poke my head over it, he gets a shot off. Explosive. Splash. If he gets a shot through it. But what I might have to do? I might have to shoot and hope the shots bounce down. What I need is a bounce. <laughs> you know? Ambrosia. Truth. Not a bad idea, is it? Especially just having it on the ground. <laughs> Watch me Ambrosia in that. I will have you. It's good. Did anyone see the damage amount? He might be stuck there. He might be not able to get through. Problem is, I can't rely on that information. No need for Ambrosia if you lose a HP. Yeah. Well, no, because I've got. Ah, if I take this off, yeah, we can do it. Just I'll lose a bit of damage. Like that should get him. At least in theory, some of the shots. He's dead. Good times. But yeah, the heavy damage was, you know, always the thing slowing me shot down there. Again, you do not want to take him for granted. Oh, I thought that was a matter of... <laughs> As a shuffle one goes, not bad. Hazen? Spooky. <laughs> Good times, though. Good kill. But no, you say perfect angle until, you know, you realise he shoots basically from the top of his head. He lifts his wand up and shoots you. So, when you're looking at his main body, it doesn't come from the center of him, it comes from the head. So it's wherever his head is, he'll shoot from, and then his angles, his shots kind of pincer a bit. So they're just weird angles to be shot at. It's not consistently normal shots you deal with. Um, so you just need to be overly cautious. Especially when he can't get shot once, you know? Uh, again, I won't apologize for how long that takes. Kill one insignificant little fuckface. Just what we deal with. 
Again, one slip up and uh, even if one slip up doesn't get you shot, one slip up will lead to another slip up on a long enough timeline if you keep making slip ups. So you just might as well make none. Because you never know when that proper slip up that's going to get you hurt is going to come. That's not a bad one. Just not got homing on. And the castellator is fucking ridiculous. Drilling, however. Because we could drill... I say that. If I drilled, say, a trigger through a wall and then put explosives on the end of it. And I've got a glass cannon. If it didn't get all the way through or it just happened to trigger on the wall and exploded my face off. <laughs> Whoops. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It would have done, but... Enter on trigger. Is that chef kiss up there? <laughs> it's the 26 capacity I'm interested in. Along with the fact, if I had killed Alchemist by now, I wouldn't need... Like, I could shorten the black holes, make them more rapid fire, just have more discretion and not need the looming. It always managed to explode itself in unexpected ways with glass cannon. It's true. That shit occurs. Right, there's one more. There's always one more. We took at the perk as well, it was. What was it? Oh, no, we came back. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it was. I see. The phasing. We don't. Phasing is really cheap, though. The one's not expensive. Could help me dig with Lumi and free up the 40 mana. And dig more permanently with the Lumi. It's an improvement on the wand. I get a timer. <laughs> you fired a shot and the holy man and died right away? Yeah, qu quads are expensive. I said that. Since it is mana borderline, I shouldn't have quads on this one. Five mana, man. The gravity field as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Michael. So nice for bosses. Definitely a purchasable. We need to see, you know. Come and see. Acid ball? Um, no, I'd rather find... Saying that, the Sea of Acid and Glass Cannon, right? Sea of Acid doesn't multiply with Glass Cannon, where Acid Ball does. I mean, Acid Ball could be used to take down enemies. It's just easier to scuff than anything else. I'd rather not scuff. The problem is it still doesn't dig amazingly. Like, you need to really move back and forth with it. Like, he still needs to be quite close. It's kind of just annoying. Like, this hasn't worked out as well as I expected. Like, and yeah, soft the rock. Yeah, it's fine, but... Let's go get our last perk. It still digs. It's still fine. We can use... We don't need to dig with the Lumi at the moment anyway. It's more just being able to poke steep. Need more Lumis. Maybe.
Brick work is a motherfucker. Yeah, phasing's just one of those anyway that isn't great at digging. Um, in certain portions of its actual phase. But it shouldn't stop it being overall okay. Um, that'll do. It's cheaper anyway. It's annoying that I can't 100% just take this off and put it on this. Ass first. You never know, Shaman could be in a uh, bad place. Okay. Well, at least the fires go in. Can test it here. I need a shortcut anyway. Not until it runs out of mana. No hit moonwalk on there. Problem is with looking behind you. You can't see as far. As long as we can see over there. Why not kill Alchemist? Um, I hadn't got any uh, foolproof way of killing him just yet. Otherwise, I would have done. We talked about it at the very start. As to why I didn't. We were thinking it through, but again, you need to... Pick the more foolproof option each time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right then. Yeah, we're running glass cannon. An easy way to get into uh, the run. I hate the fact it didn't produce any telly because then you think it's going to pop up on you. Pop up, pop up, pop up a telly. You scared of that perk? Yeah. It's a scary perk. Fuck, say. Just don't. Da it didn't break through, did it? it shouldn't have done. Wish your life was a bit more food foolproof. <laughs> and a no-hit run is quite nice. Yeah, it is. It can cause a few problems here and there, though. Like, because we've got to take essences, the um, essence of Earth might prove a little... annoying. Shall we say? It was a bit too down. Hopefully we didn't hit the shop. Bung. Ah, we're fine. Bung. <laughs> Need TP for my Door. Hey, common typo. Welcome and thanks, man. Ah, too straight. Shit. Son of a bitch. Just aim correct. That's good. Just aim correct, though. Gonna teleport again. We need to stay here until he could go up there, though.
He might be okay with me. One more love. I've known mages not to shoot at me at one more love. I see the bastard. <laughs> no, kids, block what you're about. Yeah. Problem is, if he shoots at distance, I can turn my back on him and hope for the best. But, uh, he needs. I think it went into a biome as well, didn't it? That was a bit scuffed. Scuffed entrance. It happens. Here's trench work. Ah, uh, Scott might fight him. <laughs> nice trench. Come on, peace. Problem is, if he teleports here, I get a shit ton of liquid on me. And this happened before and it's got me hit. What I really, really want is an edit. Ah. There's a nice little place for me below me in that tunnel that didn't go all the way. I'll get there. More secure? I'll... I keep on thinking he's going to come through. I could throw a load of fire down like previously get rid of that teleport. Hey, I said that if Shaman does come near me, the best thing is to ignore him. My ass will take care of him. Gas fire? Yeah, fire immunity and gas fire. That'll go together well. It'll stop both toxic rock gas and bubbles. Bubbles being some of the worst because, you know, they... Bubbles, you know, from this, teleport liquid if I burn it. There's a lot of burning gas around, you know, potentially. I set fire to it. Or the enemy decides to up warp some fire into the tunnels. Where did Shaman go? He could have died. Teleporting all around the place. He might have run out of telly. Extra life, though. Fuck you again. Best way to clean the stains from clothes? Fire. You know, it is. Burn your clothes today. What to make for supper? Do you not have a pepperoni pizza? You know, my classic 3 to 5 a.m. pepperoni pizza time. It's a bit of a ritual, you know, after my YouTube video or just after, you know, the night. <laughs> you get up and make me a pepperoni pizza and I'm good for bed then, you know. It's enough power to be able to go to bed. Oh, pepperoni pizza. Oh, man. The worst time alone. If I could, I would send you one. Ah, we could turn him into someone else. Problem here is this hole isn't really that safe. There's a long, if there's a long line that goes off screen, like down there, for instance, you can get shot and the shot can accelerate. And while I've got repulsion and acid, so all I need to do is turn my back, and I've got a really high chance of getting it away. Or gas fight, yeah. It's a big win. You know, it is. So who's, you know, changing the wand around. I wonder if there is a legal limit to Shaman and how close he can teleport towards you. I think I'll just take Gasfire straight away. Technically, I say that. This is the last Holy Mountain and then we're in another parallel world. And I do need a refresh just of, uh, you know, stock. Take stock and equipment chain. I don't know what I'd use it for, but hey, chain. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 dun, dun. Good song. Where's Shaman, though? You know, once he shows up, it's always the question. Would you like to chill in the water again, bro?
he might not be after me because he might not see me as a threat, so he might never teleport near me. Again, if one more love did the job, then it might do. That's weird. Terrain being destroyed before we actually, you know, destroy it. Extra life for another goal. It's a roguelike game. Ali, oops. Do you know on Steam, they tried to make convince people Elden Ring? What was that? Uh, I can't remember that the name of that game. Um, it was a PlayStation exclusive, I think, for a while. Hmm, can't remember. But a load of... You know, again, the definition of rogue is, you know, you get one chance, basically. Or one life. And then you start back in the beginning. That's what a rogue game is. But Elden Ring and other things... Uh, just trying to convince you it's rogue. Like, on a sale. Oh, what the fuck? Makes no sense. Gas fire must. Yeah, ignite gases. Um. I'll risk it. What's the worst I can have? Ah. Ah. Um. I best not have gone into a biome. Ah, oh, the lava! Oh, come on, man. Problem is the splash. With me shook. I just keep on destroying the uh, rock. Attached to it. And lava kill a scooter. Don't believe so. Might eventually build a barricade, but the ice can be destroyed. What I need is the lava to blood I have. Might as well just let it pour. Every time I make a move, it adds another 5-10 minutes. Well, at least it stopped. Use water. Don't have enough. I need it for other things. At least I'm fire immune. Like, you don't always get lava damage from lava if you just, you know, get a little bit of on you. Sometimes you just get fired up. Now let's freeze. Enough of the land. Make sure, you know. Plus, when we freeze over it, it will melt it and create more, you know, stability. Hey, if there was lava there... If anyone tries to get down, it's going to sit on fire unless it's mechanical. Yeah. Yeah, because mechanical, mechanicals are known for their, you know, sedate nature. I guess it'll do for now. I could check up there, I suppose. But if the lava poured down, we breached it. No doubt. Oh, that might stop Scott getting through. <laughs> Quickly. Um... Yeah, I love it when the freezing doesn't occur. Oh, there you go. can't take the uh, homing off because it's an always cast. 
<laughs> yeah, let's push the lava back. That'll do. Yeah, <laughs> squeeze it. What the fuck? It just disappeared, man. <laughs> yeah, let's compress it. It'll be fine. You ever compressed lava before, Shaq? Sure? <laughs> I have. Yum. Squish it into an app side. Job done. Now, as we shoot it, we just uh, merely resolve all problems. Again, it's going to be spilling lava for generations now, isn't it? Good. Need to de lava everything. Today on Hydraulic Press Channel, lava. Bit of lava up in the ceiling now. Oh, again, it's falling from the ceiling and everything. Wash. <laughs> yeah, repulsion is one of those that, uh, you know, just not cool. Long term, it's going to be a painful one. I'm going to shave everywhere, see if I can tease some lava out. What I really wanted was to... Yeah, actually, that's a, not a bad idea. Try and not touch terrain as much. See something like that. Lava's in the fucking walls. It's free to up warp. Now I'm producing a mass amount of sand. Snow, sorry. Sand, snow. Same thing. Yeah, still showing back up. Good. Oh, shit. That might not actually be as bad as it looks. Yum. You stuck, mate. Ah, uh, let's get loaded up. Maybe not. Good times. the money. Let's just not get lava Have you ever compressed lava before? Thank you very much for the clip there, attempt at hippo. Appreciate it, man. Oh, toxic. For a room a day. I will utilize our water. This could have been a better, you know, all rounds. This could have been better. <laughs> hey, it's good practice, though, for a scuffed biome when we still live. Considering Scott had a real chance, though. I nearly fucked it pretty hard. Might have looked a bit more composed than perhaps it seemed. Who knows? It just float through terrain. Steve. Um, he kind of pushes... His, his actual hitbox is smaller than you think. He can kind of just... Enemies can do it as well. Kind of just force themselves through. Might have made a mistake. I found alchemic precursor and fungal shift there three times. Your world is collapsing. <laughs> Aye, good times. 
That'll happen. Where will they pop up? <laughs> Anywhere you damn well, please. Shaman. Where are you? What are you doing? Where are you? Where are you at? At least we've got gas fire, you know. Gas fire is huge. It means I can just do this across roofs now. At least go play with the cauldron. You know every single night of secrets? Yeah, crap. Uh, no. There are two that no one knows. Too bad I don't have water um, material. I suspected it would happen when the black hole opened up the ceiling. So, yeah, as soon as you open up the ceiling that much, it's a good chance he's seeing you properly. So, uh, you know. No, you're just happy to throw new and random stuff at you. Apparently so. The real problem here is it's good. I need to start using my black holes now. That's not funny. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, that's probably going into a biome. At the angle it is. There could be people from that biome. <laughs> uh, from there. Figure it out. Yeah, this is why I want shorter and unlimited black holes. Stop shit like this happening. I'm gonna put some water down. So if there's any up warp, might save me. Just need more information. Yeah, there was so little toxic on the ground after it rolled down. I don't suspect it's going to whoop whoop, but what do I know? Did it go in a biome? If it didn't, then we did really well. Just something. What's that sound? They're in squishy sound. Unsure, could not say. Make another trench, however, on the other side, so I'm not in a direct line of fire if I do go through. And then I can at least miss out most of the toxic, because the problem with that toxic, it covered such a large distance that I probably can't float for it all. I don't want to even try. <sighs> don't know, maybe. Maybe it went through, maybe it didn't. Well, the journey continues. Didn't think it would take this long to do a fucking single parallel.
It is what it is, though. Nothing more. Ah, it did go through. Good, good. No, it's not good. Well, we're leaving here now and never coming back, so the game can go fuck itself, right? I could black hole straight now, but again, it's probably going to go up again, and I don't want to give myself another, another problem. Again, as soon as I see the end of that toxic, we can just, uh, float. Float on. We all float on. Oh, come on, what the fuck? Ah! Uh, that's not bad because it's made a new patch over there that isn't tox. And the explosion was there, you can see it. That's where an explosive was. You do get explosives that hide in walls. They're really problematic, but you can kind of, you know, tell where they happened. <laughs> Sometimes you can tell where they are um, going to happen as well. Good, we can walk like a normal person. Head upland. Guns. We got freezing on this? Good. If any bad liquid comes down, at least I can shoot up to try and slow it down by freezing it, like uh, lava and stuff. And then I can deal with it by going the long way around. Easy fires nuke at the rat and the ceiling collapses. It's often a bit less dramatic than that. Unfortunately. Also, with one more love, enemies might pick up ones, but they might not fire them. They might be friends. Friends for life. Ah, didn't I want a shortcut here? Yeah, didn't I leave this steel alive? Oh, no, I killed him, didn't I? I definitely don't need a refresh yet. I got to a parallel with... Uh, was it? Quite a few of my original black holes used, so I can do the same again. Plus, did we re-roll the very last uh, Holy Man? Unsure. Yeah, I'm gonna give that egg a wide buff. There's no need for it. And still didn't find tentacles. Kill our man's alchemist. It is a shame. Of the highest order. Yeah, we've got to go through this. Ooh. Right. Teleport out. I need to be able to extract. Alright, dude. Now that money, though. Me months. We must have killed him. If I exit it out of here, he's either stuck in the roof. Yeah, he's stuck in the roof, isn't he? 
Uh, he's still where he was. Me man's is up in the fucking roof. I'm glad I didn't kill them all. You know, just traps them for eternity. Crit. I mean, five times damage could turn, you know, shooting Scooty three times into one time. How much does it cost him? You know, trap one for eternity so they can get on the mobile phones and tell other Scooties what happened to them. You know, I don't know where I am, you know, but watch out, there's a madman on the verge of breaching every motherfucking holy mountain we love and care about that we've been ordered to protect. He's already killed three three Stees, three Scooters. Oh, it's really cheap. For a crit. Bit of speed, obviously, you know. Yeah. Bonus. God. Whee! We've still got a shit ton of Ambrosia. I will need, like, two fresh Ambrosia pots for the sun. Minimum. We're talking at least sun and not in a fuck with. Again, going back up is dangerous. Just with gas fire, you know, at least propane bubbles ain't gonna fuck with me. They wouldn't. You can get hurt by propane even if you've got gas fire. They just need to be, you know, you shooting a propane. Well, no. What happened was we're on a no hit run. Remember when we got propane right next to our face because I didn't see it? And we were at the, like, wasn't it like the last boss or something like that? Or last. Yeah, it was the last orb, wasn't it? At the very last orb. I propane myself in the face. On the 33 orb. Oh, that memory. I thought I'd wipe that. No. Oh. Why? No one comes flooding back. Oh, a lesson learnt, though. Don't, that's why we don't use freezing. And we check. Um, well, we know now gas fire is... Because I thought it might save me, you know? I had explosion in a minute. Yeah, we're safe here. No doubt. It's fucking rough. Very. Being in New Game Plus 3, 32 orbs, propane to the face. Even fresh scars, man. Ah. Oh, bugger off and your reroll capacity, money. I mean, that's just rude, isn't it? That gold we know is down there still. Wouldn't allow me to... It wouldn't be 1,100. It's a bit rough sitting, having three perks in a row, though. Ignored. Those love by worm prevent them from hurting you? No. It just attracts them towards you. That's all it does. Who's to say there isn't toxic on that? You can accidentally... I'm not breathless, am I? Yeah. Oh, um, no, nah, Love by Worms does not. That's feared by Worms. Oh, come on. Magical liquids for magical people. If only there's someone around that, around here like that, you know, all magic and shit. Well, we'll just go the other way. Fucking open biomes, man. Terrifying. 
could be a sniper rifle, man. Worms are our friends. Let's compost this curse temple. Hey, worm blood is full of nutrients. So it needs it. Needs it more than it needs worms. Can you think of any reason why the player is given Fizzle as a spell? Doesn't it reduce Castaway? Maybe your hair is so perfectly straight as well, you want a little bit of Frizzle in it. Like right, why girls get curly hair? I just want to change. Ah, was there any perks left though? Because perk lottery's been working a little bit. I think in the very first mountain there was. Could go for gold biome, but it is a bit of a danger. Ah, uh, uh, uh. uh. why I didn't I pour this all down before? Yeah, we barely, barely made it back before. Unfortunately, you can't freeze them. Although, changing the structure of the biome was... Nah, fuck. Hmm. I could do, but it'll create bubbles and... Even though I've got gas blood, I don't fully trust it. I don't do things on purpose. I let my perks work as they work. I don't make work for them. Rule number 420. Thing is, if I'm still killing Scooters, I'm eventually going to be able to get 3,200 together for another reroll. If I get 6,000, you know, it's going to be a little bit longer until I get it. Uh, I could get rid of this worm blood. Oh, I can get, could get rid of the fire, but the amount I'm punting through these. Oh, I really wish I could get invers. No. <laughs> I hate falling down like that. Even if I know what's down that. Too many bad. Let's move. Ah, freezing on the shock. Ah, that shouldn't be toxic up above. Even so, even if we do freeze the ground and toxic, there's a large likelihood with the glass cannon popping the shotgun at the end, it destroys the toxic it made. That's why you don't see much snow. It, well. I'm a sad Noah. True and real threat. I detest going to the left. Should have probably chugged that worm blood, right?
Got to watch out for those ghosts as well. I suppose we could do this to get light instead. Are we under? Am I not where I think I am? No, I am. I'm under the mountain. Or at least under where we start. Gold, eh? And you get the readout under the ones? Yeah, it's a timer, hits, and depth mod. Find it on the workshop. Really handy. Tells you how many times you've been hit. Although, when you're on fire, you do get hit once every frame. So, there is that. Need a trench. Oh, that's nice. Actually, digging nice for once a distance. Any damage at all, Rocket. Literally any damage. Any plus or minus damage. Zero damage shots like swappers aren't hit. It's a delivery system for, you know, an effect. Which is weird, and again, I feel contradictory saying it, but, you know. That's what the game defines as. Now, the worst thing would be having a pit boss around about here at the start. Know what I mean? Yeah, I could berserk here, but it might destroy too much terrain. Plus, this is only a temporary state of affairs when this kind of hard rock doesn't go on forever. Eh, uh, festive. How you doing, man? Welcome. We're digging to new places to do new things. New treasure to be found to build. So hopefully get Scott to become our friend, you know? Respect through shared experience, even if we are murdering each other. Well, me murdering him. Same thing. Almost. Who was that? Saw someone float up there then. I'm sure that yeah, that's slime. <laughs> Just go home, type some games, some LST efforts. Need a bigger, wider, but I do. Let's just get in some thick terrain. Thick terrain is good terrain. I'm not using black holes, by the way. I need them. When we get to snowy, though, there can be ghosts that come up from... Actually, isn't that just in New Game Plus? Might be only in New Game Plus, actually, but... No, I think a ghost can come from the frozen vault below if I'm too low down. Um, it's 
kind of somewhat rare, but they travel super fast. Fast around as fast as you. So when we get there, you know, around, like, just before... What's it called? Frozen Bolt. But after Alchemist. Between that, there can be a little blue ghost. It's very difficult to see quickly. And if we touch him, it's over. You do get a very brief fraction of a second to get touched by him and not get hurt. It's really weird how it works. He might just have a hitbox that's not his entire body. We're in the bombardment. The problem is I'm digging quite slow, which means he has a chance to catch up. But once I get in snow, we pick up the pace. He can also dig, so I could be trapped in here if he blocks me off. He shouldn't do, because he's firing at me, he should stop moving. Oh, you bastard. I need to dig upwards. Shit. Come on. Go. This Lumi drill goes on for a bit too long, if you ask me. Although, all these little pixels are actually really handy. Because I can then fulfill the hole, but if anyone comes along, one, it's easier to see when there's no background if the little ghost comes, right? But it, you know, the little pixels stop me getting shot as much. I need to get out of it, yep. It was true and real. That day, we needed to evade everybody. Where, you know, we had extreme gambling debts for, uh, against the shadows, you know. This terrain destruction is kind of unreal. I don't like it. Might have to get rid of phasing. I like it in a sense. But it's not what I would have, you know, chosen if I had a choice. It's going to be hard to see a ghost in the fucking dark, huh? Yeah, get up to the light. Because I want to see if anyone's chasing me. I need to find a sweet spot where I won't get bombarded instantly from the top. But I can see a ghost coming. Bombardment. Somewhere. Might be below me. Doubt, though. Bombardment again from the ceiling. Right, get low. Low, but not too low. Bridge and clear, go! Oh, shit. Good. That was sketchy. I went far too low. Used one of my old seeing eyes and, uh... Ah! Uh... Chance of Luma showers with scattered shotgun bombardments. Uh, we're safe from the ghosts now, I think. I think, and I thought where I am. I should have actually got Breathless, because I could hide away from the pit bosses and the alchemists. Sometimes linger around the lake. And over a long enough period of time, there will be one there. Hopefully, we'll have upgraded by then to a faster uh, teleport wand. We can also just bait one out. The lower we are, the safer we are. Even though they can spawn at roughly ground level, they're less likely to. Why is it so fucking dark here? Oh, <laughs> I hate going left, man. There's so many things that can go wrong. What are my other perks? Fire immunity, glass cannon, repulsion, one more love. 
I see you. Greed. Extra one space times two. Uh, ah, pert lottery. Melee immunity. Yeah, if we wait here a sec. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless. Technically, circle has all the points. No, you know. Technically. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Traversing the top of the worlds without all seeing, I guess, even more fucking spooky, doesn't it? Just lost a seven hour run to an Uko. Oh, Uko, how could you, bro? Did you not know it was one of us? You must have misidentified you. I mean, unless you were a flashy golden cape or something similar. Yeah, unfortunately, you all look the same. So he's just blasting. You know, it is one of those things. On behalf of the Uka Preservation Society, I, you know, formally ask for forgiveness. Sorry, bro. These things happen. Roof. I'm not a fan of hitting the roof. There we are. The shock he gave me and I just got swamped. Oh. Must have done something to deserve it though. Uko knows. Yeah, you've been going around killing Uko by any chance. He always remembers, you know. Never forgets a face. Uh, it's unfortunate I don't actually, you know, allow people to purchase my. A wonderful golden cape of Uko protection. Otherwise, you'd all be safe forever. You know, it's unfortunate in that, isn't it, man? Well, not forever. I mean, accident, workplace accidents occur and all that, but you know. You tell me Ukos are a hive mind? There's only ever one Uko. Uko is a singular being. If you see two of them, it's just one Uko traveling extremely fast to two locations. How could there be more than one of that cool dude, you know? No, I mean... <laughs> when you reach a certain state of coolness, you can't be replicated, bro. You need sunglasses. And he is able and allowed to wear them indoors. You know? That's how cool he is. Whoa, that's sentry. Just doing sentry things up there. Rude. Yeah, hey, we'll keep everyone up to date with all the goings on. You know, if they need to learn about the UCOs, we'll teach them. Alright, like single electron theory. There's just one of them traveling backwards and forwards through time and space. Yep. Future UCO, present UCO, past UCO, shockers of the cauldron post. Uh, one day, you know, in American gods, they go through all these old gods. Where's Uko? You know, that's my question 
of the day. Where's Uko in American Gods? He deserves to be in. Has he not done enough? To be represented? Well, I think so, but, but it's obviously like a it's obviously a conspiracy. Keep the Uka down, because he's too powerful, right? Yeah, people remember who he is. It will go well it'll go international again, you know? Gloomy. Yeah, I mean, that's not the place to be... I mean, we have freedom of expression and speech here. Up to a certain point, right? You missed out a kappa as well, mate. Too much data to get this focus group. <laughs> Got cactus mimic working. <laughs> nice. I'll have to enjoy that one. Getting beat over the head. Can't wait. I apologise, had to be said. I mean, you know. Some people don't like Jesus. <laughs> it's 75 damage. Nice. That is a good slap. Well deserved. From your man's cactus person. It's like bird person, but better. Uh -oh. That'll be good enough. We're not under bombardment. It's heading down the pyramid as well. It's a real motherfucker. times. And yeah, we're really putting ourselves out by doing that. For every parallel we go, the chance of success goes up and up, you know? To actually, you know, all I want to do in this run is succeed. <laughs> but all I want to do is learn something about the process of Hitler's son you know, if I die to learning the process, don't care. We got this run on the cheap, really, right? Two days in. Was it two, three days in? About ten deaths on the save file. This has come cheap, the start of this run, so... As long as I learn something. As long as we learn something for next time. Oh, do I not need all seeing anymore? Hmm... Just give me tentacles so we can go back up for Alchemist as well. Because then I can use all my black holes to get to Alchemist. Because I know we don't need the refresh anymore. Ah. Everything else? Man, it's pepto <laughs> I am highly surprised if they never used the slogan We're in business. I'll give them that one for free. As long as you give me 50%. Good day, Papa Z, Paramount Kill Alchemist. Um Again it's steps, right? You know, all these extra steps the one we're doing. You want, like, a one step. Maybe two step. 
But even if that was one two-step, you know. It doesn't seem a bit too much. I've at least got one, four, seven. Seven black holes together. Easy. Easy peasy. Actually, yeah, I forgot a little trick that I normally do to fire black holes. If you jump up in the air, it helps you fire them straight. Like, if you do a little hop. That did not go far, did it? Like, that's a lot straighter than before. We figured it out. <laughs> what? That doesn't even see, seem that far again, man. Bit too down, but I don't think it'll penetrate. That's good. Really, really good. <sighs> Another repulsion. Um... Oh, shit, I might get... Mm. Another repulsion. Yeah, sure that's going to help me uh, maintain discipline. <laughs> yeah. I don't... Oh, hello. Yeah, freezing. Um, that hole is actually not so bad. Yeah, it's colourful liquids up there. Nice. The problem is, I think he can squeeze through all those holes now. You finally completed Nightmare uh, Rubicon. GG's, dude. Congratulations. Hearty congratulations on that. Not any, it's not an easy one at all. Yeah, we want to burn that telly, because if anyone tellies around, they can get the drop on me really quite snappily. Not like, you know, the drink. Snap on Yeah, it supports my ambition to connect these two holes. Hopefully it hasn't breached. Doesn't look like it at all. Ah, uh, good, good. Yeah. And we connect these two holes, and then we have a really good defensive fortification. That I can pour fire down, get rid of the bubbles, get rid of the uh, teleport. Professionally, I could actually wash it down, but why when you can fire Yeah, the gas file, get rid of any of the uh, bad as well. Hmm. I mean, that'll do, right? Another mutually beneficial escape point. Might be my last time I fire though, but worth it. Push it all down. Good time. Oh, there's a tiny little bit left, you fucked it. Yeah, more repulsion though. Yeah, if I get to a point where I can put the accuracy on my shotguns, I hopefully can shoot a bit straighter. Um, you can't get through that. Don't, don't even try. Accuracy. Um. I 
and that's good. Is he scared? Is he running away? Three hundred damage, and he's ran away like a little little girl. Oh Jesus! Walk our little girl. I want the money. Ting ting ting. We can put the Lumi drills away. Sorry, <laughs> Lumi drill. No, we can put these away. Um, pain, it's coming from the hole. Put his head in the hole. <laughs> it's true. That is super concentrated pain. Maybe just firing one of the shotguns. Yeah, just get eat your veg. <laughs> it's got to be a repulsion because now we have really good defense behind. In fact, almost perfect defense behind, apart from explosives. Um, but you know, it's a good basis for a system of defense. Because I'm either looking straight... Because, again, when mages are really quite close now, you can actually kind of use this to, you know, swerve shots over and under you, as opposed to, you know, the regular full circle, which it normally just happens by accident. You can kind of, with the both circles and sectors. Yeah, we need a refill. Phil needs to be read. Holy man perks. Might pass the ones. Apply to one of the one. What'd you get in hand? Yeah, faster ones apply to all ones, then. Well, it's faster ones, so. Ones you have in general. Uh, maybe more water. Ah, I do like this massive line of burning. Feels pretty righteous. Feels like we've done the Lord's work. You know? Nuko dabbles in fire now and again. I mean, mainly electricity, but you know. When in Rome, who is the Romans do? Stuff. Things. Beverage time, and my leg is going to snap off if I don't move it soon. Oh! God damn, you know when you're, like, again, you haven't moved your leg in a while, and you bend your leg, and you're like... You can feel that sound, you know? Hey, Rocket, welcome, my dudes. All I can see? Welcome also, welcome to the chat. Just so, tunnel snake defense force. Delete behind, repel in front. Don't get shot in the first place. Gas fire. Freezing field won't do jack shit, so we still need to watch out for lava and acid. Toxic. Can't wait for toxic. See, I think you should shorten your name, Rocket Ocelot, to Rockalot. Rolls off the tongue better, if you don't mind me saying so. Rockalot. Rockalot, you know. I personally like it, but depends what you think it's your name. Or Rock A. -A. I suppose it would be an E, yeah, since there is no A. No. Rocky Lock. No. Or however you feel like it, you know. 
But I do like Rocket Ocelot also. Anything that reminds me of Metal Gear Solid, in particular. Mm. Good times. Into the biome. Mm. Mm. Oh, are we swerving it? Oh, yeah. We swerved it. Nice. A later. Oh, that toxic. It's rolling down here. Throw it. I have no fire anymore. But we do have two pots, so we'll get the water down here as well, just in case extreme happens. Extreme burdens of my liquids. All of it go. Yeah, make a, a tsunami. A water go down. Ah, I see. It's pretty much fine. We also have freeze. Just in case. Right. Yeah, actually, paradoxically, my friends, when you've got both repulsions, you actually fire straight up. <laughs> I don't know why. It is a thing that happens. Pay heed. Take note. Or take note. Pay heed. The other way. Whichever. Do what you want. That dude, that dude did. Look at him now. Live the dream. He's basically wrote his signature in the rock. He's got a very complex name no one can understand. See, paradoxically, it becomes really accurate. One expects him that one, were you? For a third time in a row. Maybe the repulsion act like a lens? I do not know, nor do I care, as long as it works. Shield, okay. Unfortunately, even with shield, blast radius will still be a thing. So I can trust it now. See that right in between the eye? The eye of the... Whoa. Whoa! The worm actually just wrote the solution to the eye puzzle. True and real. I mean, it's good for ambush in Tunnel Snake. Again, all my equipment is Tunnel Snake um, orientated. It's not Scoody and oriented, you know. Find the water, mate. Hide in the water. Find a no glass gun and nuke build. This one is whack. <laughs> Yep. A shield. Save your ass so much. Your ass needs saving. What, what can we say? You know, your ass needs saving or your ass is grass. So much ass related content. You know, beautiful. What do we do about this cunt? I suppose we actually get to a place where we can Blast that pool. Which means editing my wands and having a little bit of a tranche. The parts of tranche. Far troll. Um Yeah, hole here. He doesn't seem to want to dig terrain. And I can always just tell if what away. Um Problem. I've got an idea that will... No, no I don't. Oh, hello. I'm gonna dig up and then dig down. Give me more room to kind of maneuver away from him. And it might be harder for the shotguns to get down, but... You know, it's easier for me to kind of bend around and escape down that long... Road... Need more room myself to maneuver here. What is that? A fucking Tesla, you know, <laughs> logo? I'm gonna get sued. 
sued by Scood. He's actually copyright infringement dude. Alright. Don't pay attention then. I fucked him up. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Is he? We can nearly afford a re-roll. Uh, Nuclear Phoenix. How you doing, man? Found the channel from the noob help video I uh, play any game. Really? It's uh, been trying to figure that out. No, the best of luck to you, my friend. Any uh, person who enjoys roguelike games or a friend of mine. Hope doing well here on this Monday. Glad you can join us, bro. We're tunnel snaking. Tunnel snakes rule. I hope everything is going well for you, my dude. In Nighter and Life. Welcome to the suck. In a good way, though. Slightly painful. You know, slight bit of teeth involved. But overall pleasurable. Could berser uh, Why didn't I berserk this dude, man? Yeah, but always feel free to get involved, dude. That's what I'm here for, you know? The abusive relationship that is Nighter, yeah. That's actually a really good design of a Scude Destruction Horror. Take note. Because if I did it from here, you know, it's less time for his shots to actually hit the wall and perhaps get the old explosive on me, you know. Doing all right. Got a weather change coming, so it's slightly more painful. Yeah, you know, much like a night, our life isn't meant to be, you know, uh, you know. As they say, you can't get to heaven on a feather bed. And all that. Which is a bit of a shame, really. It'd be nice if I could just sleep all the time. Where did this water come from? And when water appears from nowhere, I start to get paranoid. Because other things could come from nowhere. Hey, that toxic sorted itself out. Very nice. But we're building for... You know, the no-hit run they said was impossible before I did the whole, you know, other impossible no-hit run. So we up here. It's all right. It happens from time to time. What I really want is edit. Toxic community. Everything, really. Ah. I do have a loom now. So even if my... Like, yeah, when I'm in this type of rock, I probably shouldn't. Oh, we're right at the end. Nice. It's very unlikely a rifleman or sniper gets me. Hey, Rubicon with the 300 bits. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that, man. Tunnel Snake's rule. No. That will go towards digging equipment for tunnel snaking. In real life. Apparently, I was reading an article about how, you know what, you want a hobby? Just get a shovel and dig a hole. Th isn't that fucking amazing? Do it. Like, as soon as I read it, I'm like, I've always wanted to dig a hole, mate. Like, seriously, are you a dude and you've always wanted to dig a hole? And you're like, I just don't have the shovel. It opened my eyes to the greater journey of life. Thank you. Do we wait? Thank you very much, man. Welcome. Oh. Hey, map, map. Everyone loves the hole. It'll follow if you like holes. And want to dig our own hole. Like, metaphorical hole, actual hole, doesn't matter, right? Life's all about a series of holes. I hope you and your hole are doing well. I hope you do. Yeah. Sounds a bit sketchy, but it's not. We're talking about innocent shovel hole, you yeah. know? Hey, Omni Sniper, welcome to the chat, dude. Yeah, I'm going to get a shovel, me. I've always, like, there's a specific place I've always wanted to dig. Because as a historian, right, you, you, you think... <laughs> the amount of people that might have dug treasure everywhere, you know? Hey, slow pairs with a Twitch Prime for 11 months. Yeah, can we get some love? And or hype. Or meow in chat. For our boy, slow pairs. Show some loving respect towards 
people that help the channel keep doing what we do. Thanks, bro. Again, keeping the lights on, it makes a real difference. Thank you for doing that. Hey, it's absolutely my pleasure, Slopus. It's a shame things cost money in life, so, you know. <laughs> right. Otherwise, I'd do it for free. Because it is very enjoyable, you know. Challenging myself in these ridiculous ways. Given the aspirationals. In a less Andrew Tate kind of way, you know. Realize your dreams by following the example of great Neuer player LRC and his ridiculously stupid runs. You can do it too. You just need to not get hit, bro. Like, it's a metaphor for life, right? Don't get hit. Don't, if, even if you do get hit, don't even take the hit. Just don't even acknowledge it and walk on strong. Digging in the dirt, I believe. Yeah. It's such a primal thing to dig a hole. Like, again, we need to get back to our primal roots. We're all, you know, we're becoming the Heesey. Right? With all this technology. Just in case you weren't aware of the game lore. We're the fighting lore. the technological folk. 500 bits. Hey, can we get some love for Rubicon as well? You know? Over all the 700 bits? I believe. That we're becoming too heasy. We must repent. And repel these awkward feelings. An overuse of technology. We earn for the mines. <laughs> hey, is it hype train? Nearly. I wonder what type of hype train. Because there's two different hype trains now. Shit, that was a bit low. I'll be digging a basement in my property in the next few years with a sound or oh, sound studio. You'll play your drums like a maniac anytime, day or night. Oh, that sounds wonderful. You see the beauty that can come out of home? <laughs> dig your holiday. You know, it's up to you. No one else will dig it for you. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, spot on. Come on, a piece. Nope, nope, and nope. Hey, uh, no more shuff, though. Oh, the accuracy now. The black hole is paradoxical to its core. I love it. So we're... Have you noticed how we're speeding up now? This always happens in no-hit runs. You learn, you build the confidence. You find the ways of doing things. Because I forgot how I kill Scott. Mainly because every run is different, right? You get different ones. You get different styles of approach. Just through those different ones. So then you have to relearn how to do everything all over again. It's the ultimate adaption, you know? Because we can't make a mistake. It needs to be right first time. Yeah, I need me a shovel. I'm going to get, you know, <laughs> most bling shovel. But the most bling hole, you know? Gold played hole. The gods are so fussy. Yeah. They are not giving me the opportunities I deserve to make peace. You know, if there is to be war, it is their fault for continuing said war. I don't like that lava up there. Hey, assault lines, bro. God damn, 17 mops. In the hype train. Alleg alleged hype train. Hey, once again, show some respect for our boy, Salt Lance. Thank you so much, man. 17 mops, god damn. Time. What even is time, bro? Uh, hopefully for those 17 months, I have been worthy of your contributions, man. I really hope so. If, uh, you know, with the continuation, it feels like it. So let's do what we keep on doing. It's the way forward, you know. The gods are whiny babies. True. Tis a reasonable statement to make. Uh, do we get a bigger hole? Oh, our Rubicon, pack. man. And if we can, we do. Yeah, 100%. I am on the... By the way, I'm on the easiest hype train. I could just turn it off, but, you know. I could just turn it off. But here's the problem. If everyone else doesn't. <laughs> there are a few people I know who turned off hype train. But no one I know personally, you know. I've only heard rumors of alleged hype train turned off. And everyone else does it, and I'm like, you know, am I missing out, bro? I'm missing out on the real stuff here. You don't have a direct line of sight to me, bro. You never are gonna. That's how he falls down. Is he dead? Fuck. <laughs> this one is beautiful. We get paid. We get the re-up. 
He ain't happy. Is anyone ever truly happy? It's why I, I always go to the word content, you know? I'm content, not happy. To be happy, you know, many, 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 many things in life need to change. And only then can I be happy. But I'm content. I'm content with my life. Doing as well as we may hope to do. And better, sometimes. I have no complaints, apart from the fact I can't sleep more. That's my only real complaint. I fucking love sleep, man. Uh, I want to be awake and do things right, but I want to be asleep also. The power, the duality of life itself is frustrating, annoying, and generally, you know, I wish we could have it both ways. Sleeping is good. Oh, man. I found a really good kind of flow of sleep at the moment. I used to have a lot of trouble sleeping, but nowadays, god damn it, it is the most pure and wonderful thing. And anyone having sleep trouble out there, trust me, things will change. It won't be forever, you know? I've had sleep problems in the past, and you're just fine. As you get older, you get experience with how your body works, and, you know, how you come to terms with everything. Also, a lot of lack of sleep is caused by situational stuff, so situations change, you know? I'm gonna learn how to manipulate gravity. <laughs> Just jump, you know, and just have a little hop. That's a good manipulation right there, you know. That's a start, right, you know, and then work from there. Work from that little hop onwards. A casual improvement over time. Ah, uh, it's not really a move forward, but I suppose, considering this was a non-shuff, we just got a massive upgrade. Because now we get a permanent boost of DPS. Hey, 951 DPS, and I didn't even clean this up yet. I shouldn't really chill here. It's not safe. This is safer. Although... Oh, I can't edit that. I had to learn. If you just close your eyes and not stare at my phone, you sleep pretty fast. Earplugs, face mask. And sleep during the, in the daytime. Well, I watched a YouTube video... Um, Recently, I've been sleeping well anyway, regardless, but there's apparently some, like, people in the army or marines do or something like that to get sleep quite quick. They kind of just stretch, you know, have a ritual kind of stretch of their arms, legs, like, kind of move your face around and just kind of relax your body, you know, just give it, uh, you know, when you kind of tense up, uh, you know, like that, man. It works at least a little bit to kind of just detensify. I've been doing that, and it's a nice ritual before you go to bed. And I think that is part of it, right? Having a nice... Because I sleep at, like, 5 in the morning, right? 6 in the morning, so I'm fucked for actual normal sleep. So any other ritual that can replace a normal sleep routine is only going to be positive. Re-ritualizing sleep. Because I've lost the ritual, you know? Back in the day, that's why it probably was really bad when I was younger. Never really had a ritual of sleep, really. <laughs> as soon as I got the internet, fucked. You know? Just, ah, uh, there's too much. Everything. Too much to read, you know? Too much good ideas, bad ideas, boobers. You know, nipples. Hey, Falcon with a mystery button. How mysterious. How intriguing. I wonder where those points went, mate. Blue light from phones is not great. Yes. Sleep in the internet. The ultimate, you know, rivals. Like, if there was a final boss for each other, you know? Like, sleep's final boss is the internet, internet sleep, you know? Having a wank, <laughs> some body tends to. Hey, ritual wank before bed, you know? <laughs> hey, I mean, if you do it heartily enough, wear yourself out proper, you know? These things just fill themselves in. Get your Deluxe Fuck Master Pro 9000 out, you know? Oh, what I what I earned? Pog champ? What the fuck? Oh no, show me. What did I earn? What? You just no, you just showed me. Did I get this? I ah, but thank you for you know all the contributions. It means a hell of a lot, dudes. It really does. Right then. Yeah. You do, motherfucker! Oh, I like that little green squirrel. He's lovely. Because we hey, we're And if we can, we do. Damn, I... it's been a year already. Why? Why isn't it showing me the emotes, man? It's just being a prick. 
I'm trying to click on it. Yeah, some of, like I try and copy and paste with the control. Like you know, like again, I thought it was my controller doing certain things. Like when I'm trying to repeat a video, um, on with media player, it won't let me go like and click things. It's really weird. And sometimes you know in the bottom right in the settings folder, it just I thought it was my controller pushing up all the time, but it's not. I unplugged my controller. And I try and put repeat on, and it just won't let me click it, you know? I need the repeat, man, you know? <laughs> I need to be able to choose when I watch the same thing over and over and over again. From a wide selection of things. Otherwise, what's that point? Interesting hole. Who's been the tunnel snake here doing that work? Choo choo, motherfucker. Worm sign. Tis true. Real and most true. Come such a long way in here. Indeed, man. Been 12 months. Ridiculous, dude. I can't even believe it's been a year. I can't even remember what happened last year, you know? Feels like yesterday. But I can't remember. Uh, every time I think about life and the contradictions, just... Ah. It's fine. It does not matter. But we had good times along the way, and that's what's important. If only I could remember them. It's like when you're at a gig and it's like, yes, I'm glad I've done this. This is one of those things that's ticked off the list. You know, I'll remember this forever. And like, a week down the line, it's like... <laughs> just, you know, it's like this was going to last me a lifetime, but the feeling is gone, and uh, I'm going to have to move on, find something new, find a new way of, you know, oh yeah, I forgot about this shit, luckily, oh yeah, because we normally go, um, nah, fuck that, I'll get it on the way back up if I want. But this is a weird one, this, um, uh... This place. Because this is going jungle, right? Time is worth it is. Again, as a streamer as well, like, because it's not that every day is the same, but I suppose it's like any job. You get into any job and, you know, anything that's similar day to day. Maybe even if it's not, you know, maybe if you're just doing life in general. Different things every day. I suppose this is getting older, like we talked about before. Probably that. Well, the perception of time is a weird one. Time in general just wacky. Keep thinking how crazy how it is that Elden Ring has been out for nine months. God damn. Am I really at the base? I disagree. Show me a biome. Ah, oh, we are. Oh, no. This is the one more way to go down. Come on. Peace with gods. Edit. Toxic community. Some, something of that ilk. But yeah, I'm not using black holes during this uh, rocket thing here. I could, yeah, I'll actually use a black hole straight down here, because I'm not going to use them all. And I need black holes down there. Just to save, save up. Stockpile the black holes for later. But yeah, it's nearly next year. Which is awesome. If you were here during the Undermine days, and you liked Undermine, with Thorium Entertainment, the people who made Undermine, saying that Project Lithium Hopefully out in 2000 and, uh, you know, around about then. 2023. Since, you know, their first game was epic. Hopefully they've, you know, taken on board some of the things that they could have improved. You know, frankly. And not detracting. Just, you know, we can all learn. Live and learn, you know.
Yeah, on the mileage. Brilliant. Now yeah, we didn't waste too much. We didn't black hole a lot. Oh, come on, man. Right then. There. There's a guy, a speaker from the 70s, Alan Watts. Oh, I think I've heard a bit of his uh, lectures and talks. Really want Gungeon 2 or DLC? I would love to ask what the uh, Gungeon devs are doing. Because like Noita, well, Nola Games, like Thor, like most people who come together for a game end up just kind of, you know, either system of a down hiatus, meaning... It's, you know, saying they are on a ha on a break, but they're secretly gone and split up forever. Um, oh, there's a explosion immunity. Yeah. Hey, levitation pog as well. So we might get fucked from the liquids of an explosion. But we are plus one on the immunities. So, same system. But yeah, like, Noita, sorry, Nola devs might not exist anymore. And that's one of the things when people come in and say, you know, really makes me sad. Because it's just the way the system works, right? They're not like a triple A kind of deal, you know? They come together for one game, sometimes two games, to you know, put all their skills together for some epic. But they've done that, right? You know? Then they've done it. Then it's over. They could make another game, but they've used all their creative juice in this. So there isn't much relevance to do another game because they might as well find new people and new ways of collaborating in different areas of either life or whatever. But, uh... He's killing the fish. Did I organize this? I didn't, did I? <laughs> They're all chill. Is it all good? No. Yeah, everything's going on to the uh, Lumi drill. <laughs> there we go. That's gonna bang. All the game is awesome. This achieved, indeed. And, you know, thank Uko, they made what they did, you know? Even though we'd all love more and more and more, because that's humanity in a nutshell. Sometimes you just got to be uh, thankful for what you've got. Shit ain't easy. Since we're kind of built to want more and more. You know, that's just... Evolutionary, you know, you kind of always needed more. Just the way it is. It's good, eh? Dead. Yeah, now this is a uh, fully formed, put together wand. I'm wondering, actually, if I take one of these off, take the mana off. No, oh, it still runs out. Um, hmm. I could probably take the. I might be able to take this off, really. Actually, no. The weakening... Right, because I shoot six projectiles, the first projectile that touches them then allows the other five projectiles to do the extra 20%. So there's a lot of value in that. I think it's just these now I don't need. And then just... Uh, whack it all together. Still runs out. Um... Still runs out. No, oh, I might as well just let it run out. Then. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't need the Loomis. This might. Oh, it will run out of mana, though. Won't it? How faster? That scared the shit out of me. Money, though. They're on a mission. They've dug a hole. He's dead, Jim. 
Again, anything like that scares the living shit out of me, obviously. No need for it. No cause for it. There we go. It's running out very slowly. I don't know, it might not. But now it should dig better. More loomies. They really wanted to give you a big warm hug. I ruined it. No. I'm such a bad host in my holy mountain. They thought I was scooting, you know. I ruined the introductory, not normal, warm welcome of the holy mountain introduction ceremony. Fucked it completely. Totally ruined it forever. Life will never be the same again. Shame. Wonder how far I went down. Hey, good. I uh, would love to see another Ambrosia just, uh, you know, just chilling. Just doing its thing. Yeah, this is exceptionally good at digging, though. Compared to where it was, I definitely don't want to use this at digging in the surface now anymore. It would just make too many, you know, scuffy holes too quickly. As it did before, but worse. Quicker. Bye, okay, Ken, did your new game plus run? Oh, oh. 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 What, do you not have melee immunity? Bye, kick. Bye, kick. Ruins your fucking run and blah, 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 blah. Hey, it doesn't need to run. <laughs> need to get the general message across it. Fuck you. Hard. Didn't have much immunities. Now the game can be savage like that. What, were you just a main world, get five orbs, get to new game plus kind of deal? I can respect that. Going parallels. Again, this game is actually choose your own level of difficulty when you think about it. People say the game's too hard. Well, yeah, you have to reach a certain point. But after that, you just keep going parallels if you want an easy mode. Says what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, easy mode, no hit run. Oh. But you know what I mean. You can kind of refuse to adventure on too far. Way too weak for new game plus, honestly. Yeah, the actual increase of, you know, potential fuckery is huge. Like, the percentage-based damage being one of them. That's just ridiculous. You don't appreciate how much it is until you actually just get yourself in that situation. Smooth. I mean, it's not perfectly straight. What is... The stage where I'm learning what crashes the game and what's okay to do. I can respect that. That's something you're going to have to learn. And it's independent to everyone's individual computer, you know? Some computers just ain't tolerant towards um, certain things. Oh, that was a bit low. <sighs> hey, we can correct. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's going to notice. <laughs> oh, I said that. I stopped just in time before he spawned. Oh, what is it? Oh. Uh, what I can do, I can kind of just make little holes. Little tele hole. So it's less likely I get screwed on. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> what is it though? I can't see. I want to see what we've been uh, going to win, you know. What's my price? Oh, it's so bad. That's a reroll. Could go for more shop stuff, but I don't need stuff like Circle of Vigor. Yeah, I don't need to concern myself too much with getting too much height now, since it's one shot. And it's so much more smooth. I just need the I just need the hole to be acceptable. Oh, the ones. 
Okay, pretty righteous. They're about to let them go here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if I don't pay attention. I'm sure he can't easily hit me through a hole like that, of course. Dingo. <laughs> I'm gonna call him that forever. Scott is out. Ding dong is in. I would head down and get my refresh now, but you can guarantee he's gonna be on it. Where's he gone? <sighs> Whoa! Squid. In fact, if he heads down there. This is the best chance yet. He's probably stuck. Like normal people get stuck. I assume normal people get stuck from time to time. Stuck. We can get an angle on the go. Arc the shot into him. It might encourage him to charge, but well. Wow. Yeah, get me that. Nice. Doesn't have an easy direct line of sight, you see. Jesus Christ, man, would you like to have some, you know, game about you? He's got no game. Oh, a recoil. Oh. Wow. I could basically turn enemy projectiles into ducks and sheep. At quite a distance. Of course, I wouldn't be able to shoot anything apart from making ducks and stuff. It is the ultimate defensive one for projectiles. No. Oh. Ah. So if I shoot, the enemy shoots. You know, anything. Yeah. And get some out of the pool. And who knows, I might need items. Not a last resort, you know. Yeah, I might be able to find my uh, stone. Shh. Yeah, don't let scoot it out of aggression, you though, of course. You need to be the aggressive one. You've earned your right to outplay that son of a bitch. If you got that far. Killed three Steeds, you can kill one Scooter. And if he resets a lot of them, uh, they get extra perks. Scooter's got no game. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Donkey. Well, he's just not even getting a shot off. I can't respect that, you know. I respect fires. He had no fire in him. Not something I'm gonna, you know, look at and praise. Oh, he lied down and got defeated. What a good man, you know. <laughs> Let's 
Get some water down here. Don't trust this. Not at all. If one thing can pop. <laughs> Anything can pop. Oh, we've got explosion in it now. Oh, it's so good. Oh. We're so liberated. <laughs> Swapper. Nothing. No value. Yeah, I don't want to burrow into the art. So I shall discipline myself upon this land. Take what I need. Even when it runs out of mana, it's kind of fine, isn't it? Alright. So let's not do what we did last time. Let's go to... It will not be desirable. We've got to watch out. Again, the R and the Vault in between it is the biggest chance for up what like here, especially around here. Um, you know. Like, this normally brings up Toxic. Or an explosion here. It's weird, man. So let's just make a big hole. Notable holes. We can kind of rely on for a bit of cover. Many liquids that decide to be uh, rational. We are. Oh, we're a bit too high. Again, I don't want to charge straight in the hole. Dangerous. Hey, we made it this far. We shall continue marching forward. What I need is the shops to actually play ball. Hey, we'll redo that one. Yeah, that's better. Um, hmm. I suppose I could do what I did. Oh, these bastards. I don't even remember these dudes. <laughs> the problem is with me shooting it, it splashes the liquid around a bit more. But that does separate a bit of the liquid, and if you splash yourself very lightly with teleport, it doesn't actually teleport you. Like if you get 1%, you can walk it off real quick. I'll just make some stands. Stops anybody else following me. Get teleported away from me, hopefully. Them's the master plans. That was appropriately up. Good. Perfect timing as well. Right? Right? Well, this one is. Skimmed it as close as we may dare. Unlimited enemy radar. Oh, right. Because we fucking Hail can, fast. And if we can, we do. Hail fast, my apologies. Thank you so much, dude. Hey, with the Twitch Prime sub, no less. Hey, welcome to the Renegades, dude. Thank you so much. Do appreciate your support, Demo. Hey, can we get some love? Oh, meow in the chats. I hail. And dropping the one and only Switch Prime. Yeah. We've been having a banging day. We've been tunnel snaking. Old tradition here at LST. Perfect. Mana for very, very exp Oh, we can rob it. Nice. We can steal the mana. We've had mana issue. Whoa, acid problem up there. We've had mana issue, you know? Mana has been somewhat of a problem. Whoa! He's going a bit angry. Manner of the gods. <laughs> Been watching YouTube for about a year now. Thought I made the jump. I appreciate it, dude. Welcome. And, uh... It does pain me to say. No. <laughs> As you've just joined us, we've been going for six hours. And I need to get some YouTube done in a minute. So, we have just turned up at the, uh... 
end of this room, I would say, because I've just finished a parallel world, and to start a new one, it wouldn't be, you know, an appropriate time. But I appreciate you dropping in all the same. I appreciate you enjoying the stuff on YouTube as well. Gone. Welcome also, man. We're just going to finish off this scooter, and then uh, we're going to drop a little... We're going to check out on YouTube tonight Keith's Pinball Night of Mods. Which I'm actually quite excited for. So, some nice modded night tonight. Catching lads, say hi, it was fun. No, I'm glad, dude. And again, we'll have some good YouTube content for you later. But we're not just done yet. Um, enemy radar. Enemy radar is huge. You don't understand. You do, actually, probably. Some of you um, who've been here before, but you don't know hit runs. How some enemies are really hard to see. Not only in the dark, because we don't have all-seeing eye. When we get back to main world, anyway. But some enemies are just basically ghosts. Well, I'm not even talking about the regular ghosts. I'm talking about those blue ethereal dudes. And having a red dot on them. Yeah, LST room. That is uh, the most sketchy clutch I have ever had in video gaming. I would have liked the unlimited game. Come on, man. I don't need the unlimited, but it could have been less than, you know, less than an asshole about it. The command still works? Hell yeah, it does. Can't get rid of LST room. Even though it's got copyrighted music on it. <laughs> Nothing. Um, hmm. Oh, little ghost buddy. He's such a friend. Right, I'm not gonna kill myself by using this right. Problem, if I get attacked now, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'll, I can always do another one at some other point. I do have enemy radar, though, so I can see people coming a mile off. But yeah, double mana all the way across the sky. It'll allow me to actually not hear that clunk sound every time I shoot this now. Which, this is a powerful wand. It's my power stick. My boom stick, if you will. A 2,340 DPS. Oh, my, um... Uh, floaty one. My, uh, what is it? My thing. Yeah, uh, my circle of buoyancy. Floating around up into the vault there. Heard the command in the video from like a year and a half ago. Wasn't expecting it to work. It's an old classic. It's, uh... I have no right to get rid of it. It is an LST history right there. That was to tie the world record, that run. That was insanity. Considering it was a first floor and a lot of the danger in Enter the Gungeon streaking is right away, you know? It's a very different looking LST. Yeah, the stream quality back then was shocking. <laughs> We've come a long way. Even in the, you know, even in the little things, you know? One, I no longer smoke on stream. But we're making a nice little, like, if you chill in, you know, above the vault, but below the art, you will need to make yourself a nice comfy place to exist. So these are, what I'm creating here are my safety hands. Hold on, turn your head sideways. Does not that look like a little monster waving his arm out? You know, going, err. It just needs eyes. Oh, if, it, if the enemies on my enemy radar could be so kind. <laughs> They'll look like eyeballs. I'm going to fuck it up. I always do. Ah, it might be better now. He's got antennae. <laughs> nah, I need to. Hold on. Let's see if we can go two for two. <laughs> yeah. My monster safety house. That was clutch and a half. Yeah, it was. 
Oh. Yeah. Perfect safety because any liquids that upwarp will pool there. Any liquids that fall down will, you know, hopefully fall down there. So I'm safe. What? Ah, oh, the LST room. Any true old school Enter the Gungeon YouTube no, a Twitch watcher who knows the history about Enter the Gungeon Shrieking knows the LST room. Or should do. If they don't, they obviously weren't there. And many people back in the day weren't there, of course. Oh, this is getting somewhere. Although, I hope to get more today. I can't, you know, I can't go on a seed and put my demands down. We just have to play the seed, roll it out there. I mean, there are possibly things I could have done personally to make it go faster, but maybe out of my comfort zone. Maybe I just didn't think of it, you know. But we're safe. 69 new progress, my friends. Wow. What a number. What a run. Again, this run is on. I did not anticipate such progress. This early on. I did shut up me. Right then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there will be a time where I play Terraria, you know. So I'm going to drop him with Briskip. Oh, who's doing some Terraria, you know. It's a game that I've let kind of slip by me for far too long. The Fist Gord. Nice. I bet. But yes. We are finishing, but thank you so much. Again, six hours on a no-hit run. Normally, I do five. Five hours is normally my limit, but yeah, it's been a really good stream. I've really enjoyed it. You know, some good banter, some good talks, shovel talk, you know. <laughs> Almost killed by a freaking vending machine. Yep. <laughs> oh, that Discord picture. It was ace. Oh, I loved it. The potions, man. I'm coming out of the walls. Uh, those mimics and enter the gungeon, you get a free item or gun out of it, so they're normally worth it to see, but in that situation on a streak with um, you know, a lot of curse, a lot of hard mode, basically. Oh. Thank you for the awesome stream, guys. You know, it's not only down to me doing what I do, but down to you as well in chat. Showing up, enjoying what we do. If you'd like more, we've got a nice little YouTube video coming for you for a little bit. The old Noita. Pinball! I'm going to play some Noita Pinball. See what Keeps Mod is all about. Can't wait, to be honest. Sounds awesome. We'll be back at No Hits on Wednesday. I'm taking tomorrow off. I shouldn't. I shouldn't take tomorrow off. If I am around, say I just change of heart, change of mind, I'll let people know. Everywhere. I'll go on YouTube, Twitter, Discord, that kind of thing. Put a strong alerts out that I'm live since I'm saying I'm off. The about section in the schedule will change as well. It'll actually have a time on it saying when I'm starting. I might not start at the usual time. I might start a bit later, just in case, you know. Since I am saying I'm having a day off. But most likely I'll have the day off because, you know, I need one day off this week. And I don't think this run's going to get done tomorrow. So then, is it going to be Wednesday? Is it going to be Thursday? I don't want Friday, Saturday, Sunday to be off again. Um... So it's best just doing it tomorrow. But you never know. I might wake up and I chip our mood. <laughs> I might wake up really refreshed. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? We may find out. In the due course of time. But first, we've got YouTube. Also, links up in chat for Discord. Home away from home for the stream. Come and chill and chat. Enjoy some good memes. Mostly memes. Talking. You know, shoot the shit. Come and say hello. Announcements for the stream. YouTube announcements as well when they get posted. And all good things. We're all through that. You know, some good stream ideas have come from that. It's really nice. I appreciate people who get involved. Oh, we take the time it takes. Indeed it does. Indeed it does, Ellie. Oops. Indeed it does. And it will forever take the time it takes because I can't rush these things. It's impossible. Hey, Rubicon. 
once again, appreciate all the subs, resubs, gift subs, bits, hype train involvement, mystery buttons, like those, and just involvement in the stream. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I need a well-earned rest for 12 minutes. Actually, since then, I don't know what the Naughty Pinball is all about, but hopefully, um, yeah, it'll be awesome. So we shall have a gander, have a look here. And hopefully, when I remove my save file and put it on my desktop, it doesn't void it forever. You know, for this run. Because <laughs> this is going good. I'm in my little monster hut right now, my monster home with the hands. Will you take it easy, guys? Enjoy press skip doing some Terraria. And I'll catch you Wednesday, if not tomorrow. But again, most likely Wednesday. So, thank you, guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. Don't get run over, and that kind of thing. Stay hydrated. You know, don't die. I'll meet back here. When we uh when we next live. See you soon. Much love guys. Peace.